right. Oh, dearie me, what a week it's been. Oh, oh. Oh. It's been some crazy old weeks, to be honest with you. But it's Friday. It's Friday. Do you know what that means? That means it's Lo-Fi Gaming Day. It's you, it's me. We're going to chill out with some unpacking. And we're just going to decompress. We're going to let the game and the music and just the vibe just wash over us and we're just going to chill out. Looking to see if my cat is uh, under the wheels of my chair. No is the answer to that, which is good. Uh, let's get rid of all these work things. Ugh, gross work stuff. Not this, this is water. But it's not water, it's juice, but same difference, you know what I mean. Let me just open that. Thanks, Galaxy. Thanks for... You're always using the monitor. Every application always uses the monitor that's not my main monitor. That's a good thing, isn't it? Uh, mixer. I don't want to hear my microphone quite as much as I do. There we go. <laughs> I have an echo in my own ear. Um, yeah, so the plan today is to do the YouTube intro, we're going to play some unpacking. I've forgotten how long unpacking is, um, and I think it's about two and a half to three hours long. Depending on how we play it, I think it's about that long. So, we might play something else afterwards, I'm not 100% sure what. The fallback is going to be Spookies with Crowd Control, let's be honest. But other than that, we're going to have a good old time. So let's do an intro. Let's turn the music down a smidge. Hello everyone and welcome back to Lo-Fi Gaming, probably the chillest place on the internet to find gameplay. Now, today we're going to be playing Unpacking, which is a bit of a special gem in my eyes. Firstly, it scratches the itch of my organisational skills, but also it's a really nice story that you are never told. You're just basically presented with these dioramas of locations and you have to go through the process of unpacking boxes. And as someone who's moved house a couple of times now, it's a strange feeling taking an empty space and filling it with your things and sort of making it your own. And that's a, it's a unique feeling, but which being, um, who you may remember from such games as Assault Android Cactus, which is a twin stick shooter, which has no uh, correlation to this whatsoever, uh, but it's still a good game, um, have captured that feeling really well. And seeing a lot of these bits and pieces that you're unpacking and mementos and things like that, really, it really makes you feel like you know this person after a couple of, a couple of sessions. Um, if you like this video, please consider liking it. If you dislike it, there's a dislike button. And if you want to help the channel for free, then you can subscribe. But without further ado, let's dig in. God, I love unpacking. I love it. I don't know what it is. Just absolutely love me a bit of unpacking. Ooh, settings, language, audio, audio, I think audio is fine, uh, language, English, yeah. video, <laughs> I was about to say, there's, there's some title options, there's because there's no, there's no voice, uh, controls, constrained cursor, cool, cursor speed, vibration, <laughs> turn that off because I'm not playing on control pad, uh, I'm actually not playing on joypad for once, and sort of thing, I think. No, that's fine. Accessibility. Icon zoom. Cool. Room swap. Highlight invalid item. Oh, okay, cool. So if you can't see, if you're colorblind, I suppose. And allow items anywhere. No, that kind of defeats the object of it. So let's go. <laughs> I forgot about this. You've got three different um, photo albums to start with. This book belongs to. Mike. It's the first photo. I think it's the kids' room, isn't it? 1997. How old was I? 1997. I was 12 in 1997. Was I 12 in 1997? 10, 11? Yeah, I was 12 in 1997. God, God, I love this game so much. Look at this room. Look at this. Just look at it. Now, is it going to be easier? I might just do it like that for a little bit. So let's. Oops. How do you... Lovely cupboard. 
Okay. So let's start unpacking, shall we? We've got three big boxes. Books. Teddy. Teddy. Ooh, action figure. Ooh, could could potentially go with Teddy. That's uh oh, lovely. Um, I'm gonna say that's an action figure. That's a Teddy. Ooh, well, oh well, trolls. Do trolls sit in the action figure or Teddy camp? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not. I'm not certain. That's definitely, that's from uh, Assault Android Cactus. Tamagotchi, classic Tamagotchi. Teddy. Teddy. I love that I'm pretty sure that they now sell these uh, pig teddies because it's the uh, kind of the mascot for this game. Let's put that over there. Uh, a picture. So this is what I do. Like, this is a secret of, of uh, my brain is I unpack stuff onto the floor and then I will put stuff away so that I know I can organize it. Book, book, book. God, I, I wish that was a thing that really happened. I really do. So, so far, we've got a pile of books. So I'm going to put the books over here. We've got small size books and we've got medium size books. Or rather medium and large, I suppose. A Tamagotchi. I'm going to put that in miscellaneous right now. Maybe that could be like the entertainment section. I'm not sure what that would be. Let's put you there. A football. Football's probably just going to live in the corner anyway. A backpack. A trophy. Oh, definitely for that. Art supplies. Now. Let's put that with this. There's going to be a lot of art supplies. I remember this much. A book more art supplies i do remember our our character is an artist i remember that much now do i want yes let's put the books all books together wait do these fit on top of each other yes they do lovely um that's a that's a wall picture so we're just going to put that on the wall over there a piggy bank that can go with ooh, shelf things <laughs> i like the i never noticed the uh the money jingly before I probably did, but uh, let's put you here. Oh, these are art supplies, aren't they? Let's move you very slightly to one side. That's a dreidel, so that's going to go in bookcase stuff. Yes! <laughs> I remember that much. I remember that you can do the, uh, the Rubik's Cube. Oh, waste bin. Cool. That's just general stuff. Um, that's probably bookshelf. So board games procedure. <laughs> uh, oh, big book. Now, does that go on top of that? Yeah. Do they also go on top of that? Can they go on top of that? How high can you stack books? Oh, pretty high. Pretty high. Scissors. Art supplies. Art supplies. Because that's an eraser. This is by no means like a um, uh, sort of efficiency uh, laden strat or anything like that. We're just having, we're just taking things out. This is just how I would uh, unpack stuff. This is how I unpack stuff. It's not how I would unpack stuff. This is how I unpack stuff or how I organize things, I suppose. It's probably a better way of putting it because one of the things I always noticed was whenever I was putting like books and stuff away, I wouldn't know if I had enough space until I had them all out. And then all of a sudden I'd run out of space and then I'd find two more books. So I'm like, oh no, like, what am I supposed to do now? So it was always easier. I was at the maximum amount of books I could stack. Yes, so that's the maximum amount of books I can stack. Okay, that's fair enough. Is that a camera? That is a camera. Oh, and now I can take a photo. Fantastic. And I got a brain sticker. <laughs> I have a feeling I'll be taking more photos with this one. I've played this a couple of times now. Oh, flashlight. Hmm. Now. Maybe put that on the bookcase. That's bookcase stuff, that is. If ever I saw one. I'm so impressed that there's such depth 
to such a simple game. Skipping rope, I can just go over here for now. And then that's it, okay? So that's all we've got. I mean, yes, fair enough, it is It is absolutely, I don't like that, I don't like the, the red accessibility. Let's have it purple, that's a good color. It's a better color, it's a less triggery color. Lovely. Um, so now I'm gonna start organizing things. Now I know what, how many things I've got. I know I know what I have. Oh dear, that's my uh, phone going off. Apologies for that. So the problem uh, at the minute is because it's raining quite heavily in the UK. Um, my uh, doorbell, our doorbell keeps going off and uh, because it gets rain on it. <laughs> Boop the duck. <laughs> Always and forever, boop the duck. We're going to have a little family meeting up here. There we go. The ponies can probably go elsewhere because they're like statues, aren't they? And this looks like a, some sort of like good luck charm. So let's put the board games under here. With the action figures around here. Oops. The skipping rope. The skipping rope's not a floor item. That's interesting. Um, lots of books. Let's sort the books out. Now the diary. I'm 100% going to put under the pillow. <laughs> put that there. Put that there. Now I'm going to have to just separate these because I'm... Um, 100% going to put these in as, as efficient size order as I can. Right, so that's that shelf. Well, uh, actually, put that on for a second because I think that takes up the space of two books. There's definitely a space there. There's 100% a space there. See? Why are you not... Hmm, interesting. So you don't allow me to do that. No, that's fine. There's no pressure there. Oops. Uh, boot box. Tapes. Oh. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. You could change the music. <laughs> yeah, 100% forgot you could do that. <laughs> uh, let's have the Game Boy here and that there. None of those can be interacted with. We're going to put the camera away for now. Can I hang this on the wall? No, I can't hang that on the wall. Let's have that there. We're gonna have the art supplies in the drawer. No, these don't fit in here anymore, do they? No, okay. Safety first. Uh, let's have that there. And let's have that there. Lovely. So now the piggy bank. What, well, the, the trophy is definitely gonna go on the bookcase. The dreidel can go next to it. The Rubik's Cube can go next to that. The London... Oh, so there's oh there is there well there is space. It'll be a little bit cramped, but there's space. Let's have that in there. Let's have that on there. And then what we can do is we can just put that in here. Oh, look at this room. Look at this room. This room's delightful. <laughs> I think maybe I want that there. I was always a big big um fan of having like a poster near my bed when I was younger. And this was like the sort of picture that a parent has hung, like in their kid's room for their kid. Let's take a picture. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> We're gonna have a boombox sticker. We're gonna, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a filter. Oh, exciting. Oh, that's a nice pop of color, isn't it? Proper retro there. Uh, oh, I'm a fan of that. 
Ooh, that's really nice. Oh, Game Boy colors. That's awesome. Stickers, frames. And then zoom in. <laughs> that's amazing. Let's do that. Let's have this. Let's get rid of that. Take that picture. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Leafo. Yes, Leafo mode. That's the first level complete. Finally, my own room. What's the video? Quick playback. Quick playback in GIF form. <laughs> oh man, these are going to be priceless. Absolutely priceless. Oh, it makes a video for you. <laughs> I never realized that. Well, I'll just leave that and go. Wow, this was like work. <laughs> Genuinely feels like I'm working now. <laughs> so, how's everyone been? I'm a little early today. I don't normally start for like an hour. I had some time, so oh, lovely. Get gift save, fantastic. Save to my OneDrive. That must have been painful. <clears throat> Two thousand and four. So, this is like college, isn't it, or like university? I guess. So let's get the big things out of the way first. This is a pretty big box, and I'm pretty sure it just has the computer in it. Yeah, it does can go underneath though um i don't think back in the day having your pc on your desk unless it was a a flat horizontal one wasn't really a big thing i'll be honest wasn't really a big thing having your pc on your desk um, it was very much a case of it was out of sight out of mind um, so you just stuck it on the floor somewhere okay let's start with this one so art supplies a book or a DVD DVD probably a mouse it goes on there a mouse pad that also goes on there we're going to strain all this up don't you worry art supply that's a journal book and other book and that's one box done uh, ooh a poster Cover up that mark. There we go. Uh, further reading material. I'd love to be able to see the. Um, I mean, I'm I'm pretty certain I know what some of these books are or what they're meant to be, but I'd love to be able to read some of the titles. That would be fantastic. More art supplies. Another book. Another book. A book on dance. <laughs> oh, beautiful pig. Beautiful, beautiful pig. Looking slightly worn. Oh, that's a toothbrush that actually goes in the bathroom. Let's just pop that there a second. Because we have multiple floors. We have multiple rooms now. Can I adjust the chair? No. Oh, toothpaste. We're all, guilt we're all guilty of this at some point. Just putting random stuff in boxes. Art supplies. Oh no, a bag. I've done this wrong. Oh I've, no, I've, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. There we go. Um, miscellaneous. Let's put that there. Clothes. Clothes. Uh, is that DVDs? Is that a CD rack? That looks like a CD rack. An old timey CD rack. Clothes, clothes, another poster. We will adjust the posters eventually. Uh, 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 is this another DVD? That looks like, another, looks like Donnie Darko. I think that's what that's meant to be. Uh, a portfolio, so uh, well, a file. Put that with miscellaneous. Clothes, clothes, clothes. Kitchen. 
That's kitchen clothes. 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 Ooh. Yes. Uh, can I go on top of anything? No, I can't. More clothes. More clothes. More clothes. Oh, a picture. Delicious art. I can't stack the pants. That makes me quite sad. And I like I like stacked pants. I like my pants like I like my pancakes. Well stacked. It's miscellaneous. That's clothes. I wonder how many clothes I can stack. Uh, figures. I'm going to guess that we still have some figures. Oh god, no, no, stacky trousers on top of that. A battered football. Another book. Uh, oh, okay, that's how many clothes I can stack. It's one, two, three, four, five. Alarm clock. Yep. <laughs> I think I set it. See, it's not 9, 9.44. It's 5.13. Uh, oh no, that's a that's a thing. That's a boss. That's an, a bric-a-brac. That's what we're going to call that. Clothes, clothes, clothes. Pajamas, very important to keep those separate. More pajamas, also very important to keep those separate. Close, close, close. Toilet paper. Toilet paper can go on the hanger, right? Yeah. Oh, it can be hung the incorrect way, or the correct way. Uh, uh, An other book. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on, this way. This way. There we go. Uh, a further book. Oh, the, the photo album. More jeans. Okay, so that's everything in this room. Let's actually let's sort this out because my brain's not going to like it if I don't. Let me put this here and then put that. I could go under there, I suppose, out of the way. It's not a, it's not a terrible idea. Um, let's open this and put some of our shoes away. A couple of pairs of shoes, didn't we? There we go. Uh, how neat do I want to be? I mean, pretty neat, let's be honest. That's just a t-shirt. We've got a nice blouse here that deserves to be hung up. T-shirt, t-shirt, a shirt that also deserves to be hung up. T-shirt, 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 and a hoodie. We'll hang that up too. Can I hang that up here? Yeah, lovely. So we'll just move those here. And then we've got another plain t-shirt and some pajamas. So we'll put these pajamas here and these pajamas here. Oops, nope, here. Um, and then we will put bras in. This one, I don't know if bras and pants will fit in the same one. I'm not 100% certain. I'm pretty sure those are socks. Those are not socks. Those are pants. Um, oh, no, I don't like that. I don't like having separate separate drawers for things. How many pairs of socks have I got? More than three. That'll do for that. Um, socks. 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 Pants. Socks, pants, 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 and pants. Oh, that's delightful. The only problem being those two of them on the ground. <laughs> I'm such a puzzle, puzzle nerd. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so books. Let's put your books up here, shall we? We've got what I assume to be your D&D books. And we've got these books, books on dance, books on art. You might want your other books up there as well. Yes. And your DVDs. Oh, can these not lay down? Okay, so these, these can only stand. That's fair enough. Oh no, I've done a, a terrible thing there, haven't I? There you go, cover the wall socket. Picture book, picture album, no? Um, where should I keep that? Let's keep that somewhere safe. Keep it in here, right? Keep it somewhere safe. Uh, the file can just go away. Right? That's, that's just boring grown-up stuff. 
the boom box can go here the cds can go up here because i'll be honest oh no how can how can i listen to music there we go that's a bit better uh, and then the rubik's cube can go here oh that's oh no that's that's absolutely the worst setup there we go there we are so maybe have a rubik's cube here something to fiddle with and then so let's take a break with when you're done working so have your game boy on the left um art supplies let's have mannequin or oh, the doll up here oh is this oh it does go into different positions fantastic excellent <laughs> up there and then we'll pop your art supplies up here but this can go up there and then that can go oh turn around piggy there we go your actual figure can go here. This can live in your bedside drawer. And then I think that's everything in here. Oh no, we've got some uh, knickknacks. Some souvenirs. It should definitely go on the windowsill. There we go. So that's, that is, I think, everything in here. Yes. Now let's move to the bathroom. Now none of these open, do they? Can we flush toilet? Lovely. <laughs> these open. Yeah, that's it. Um, so we've got a towel. On. Put the towel on there. We've got a soap. Ooh, probably. Oh, a mug. I don't know if that's supposed to be in here or in the kitchen. So let's just pop that in the kitchen. <laughs> we can figure this out afterwards. Um, we've got some uh, antiperspirant. That's the word. I had a complete brain pause then. Some antiperspirant and some perfume. We've got a hairbrush. Some shampoo, first aid kit. Oh, a bra. You belong in here. Not in there. In there. Brilliant. And then we've got some tampons, which I'm reliably informed not to put next to the toilet. Uh, by a previous viewer. <laughs> Shampoo and conditioner. Some toilet roll. I don't really know where the toilet roll can go. We'll figure that out in a second. A big thing. A big thing. A big towel. Sort of that in a second. A pedal bin. Oh, and a pan. A pan is definitely not for here. A pan is definitely for the kitchen. And that's that box. So now let's just quickly shift these out of the way. Open this. I like the drain in the floor. That's very cool. First aid kit can go in here. That's the only th other thing that can go in here, right? Yeah, that is the only... Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe other stuff can go in there as well, like the toilet rolls. Yeah, the toilet, the spare toilet rolls can go in there as well. Um, shampoo and conditioner. I'm going to break one of my cardinal sins and have it on the bath. I'm not a big fan of having stuff like that on the bath, but it is what it is, so... Uh, soap can go in the sink because everyone's soap is in the sink. Uh, I'm just going to put the toothpaste and the toothbrush on the back for a second. Um, just because... Oh, yeah, that there. Um, just because... Um, I'm going to get glass for it eventually. There we go. Well, maybe that should be there. Mm, maybe that should be there. Okay, so that's the bathroom done. Let's go to the kitchen. What sort of space are we looking at in the kitchen? We've got cutlery, we've got a drawer, we've got a cupboard with two levels. We've got... That's it. That's all we got. Okay. A mug. And other mug. And other cup. Some sugar. A biscuit bowl. A plate. A cuddly toy. A bowl. And other bowl. A plate. This is one of the things I forgot about this game. Is the... the it's so true that you you start off like not life but like you start off on your sort of moving in and moving out adventures with just a mishmash of cups and saucers and plates and bowls and eventually as the game goes on you get a 
a nice a nice set of stuff. <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about this. The cutlery I'm going to just put straight in the drawer. Um, interesting question. But how do people organise their cutlery? Knives, forks, spoons. I do knives, forks, spoons from right to left. Knives, forks, spoons. Um, and this is a big topic of conversation uh, a little while ago when I streamed this last. Oh, hand soap. Good. So I'm interested to know what people uh, what people think. Uh, bug spray. Bug spray is going to stay on the floor. A toasty maker. A chopping board. A pan. An other pan. Some cooking oil. Some bin bags. They look suspicious they like the bin bags I actually have. Um, some sponges and a spatula. Oh, a keyboard. Lovely. That's a funky looking keyboard, I'm not going to lie. A plate. A bowl. A glass. A knife. A big knife. A wooden spoon. I'll just put you on the ground for a second. It's not going to be a problem. Do not worry about it. An actual sponge that can go by the sink. A kettle. Ah, another shoe to go with our missing boot. There we go. Oops, kettle. A uh, peeler. Another mug. Another glass. A smaller plate. Oh, that I can't stack on the bigger plates. One absolute con. Come on, which bin? So it's all out. Tea coffee, salt, can go with oil, kitchen paper, some big spoons. There we go. Now we can start sorting stuff out. So, what do you mean the toaster doesn't go there? Uh, the pan can probably just stay on the hob, to be honest with you. Toaster can go there. Kettle can go next to it, because it's just kind of standard, really, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, bin bags can go in here as well as spare sponges is it does this lay down no this does not lay down um as well as big kind of chunky kitchen items so a wooden spoon i'd say the knife as well to be honest with you because it's still a cutlery drawer although if we take the spatula out of there and put the knife in there instead oops and then put the spatula in here that's that feels a little bit better so, this seems to be away away. Can I not hang this somewhere? Is this not a thing? Well, it needs to be like away away. I don't really want that above the, the cooker because it just feels a bit wrong. Can I click on this? No. Um, the mug. I do think this mug this mug is probably for the bathroom, to be honest with you. This smiley face mug. So I am going to put it in the bathroom. There we go. Excellent. Uh, this pan can probably stay... I wonder if this can hang somewhere. It can. I can just hang the pan up. That's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, I've never hung a pan like that, and I think it's a little bit strange, but I've never I've never had the ability to hang pans like that, but I do now. Through the power of video games. Um, let's put these plates away, and these little plates away. Now, there's no way of putting these bowls away as well as they're now. So let's put those with the toast maker. Kitchen towel. Mm, I'm not massively keen on the kitchen towel being there. I wonder if the towels can move and then the toasting maker can maybe go here. No, apparently not. Oh, come on. Oh, but it can go there. How bizarre. How really strange. Uh, let's put the salt here a second. Oh, I keep forgetting I have a cupboard. So is unpacking the same as unboxing? Yes. <laughs> yes, in <Terry. laughs> It is. Just basically unboxing someone's life. Tiny coffee cup. Similar to mine. Tiny coffee cup. I mean, I am a giant. That's not a normal cup. Uh, so we've got sugar, tea, sugar, 
So let me get this straight. Let me just put all this, this on the floor for a second. The sugar can't go near, can't stay on the side? What's, what's wrong with it being on the side? Oh, it has to be at the back of a unit. How bizarre. How utterly, utterly strange. Can it be next to a... Ah, so it could be there. Tea, coffee. Is it a 90s kitchen, I wonder? Uh, 2004, I think, this section's based. So, yeah, basically. Uh, the oil can just go here because you'll need to grab it for cooking. This pan can not be stored here, apparently. Oops. Uh, okay, I've done a wrong there. Let's just pop that under here. Now, I wonder what else can go away. I mean, that can definitely go under there. I mean, in fairness, these and these could probably go in here. That's a, that's a pretty decent place for things like that. But then I don't know what else would go in here. So I'm not 100% sure why I felt the need to do that, I guess. Is my, is my question there. I can go up there. Biscuits. I tell you what, we're going to have this pan under here. This is going to be our under cupboard pan. Everyone's got an under cupboard pan, right? And I think that's all of that. So now, so we've done the bedroom. Oh no, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that journal not allowed to be in there anymore? Oh. Um, well then. <laughs> I'm at a bit of a loss because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. Um. So is it a puzzle game or can you choose how you want the room to be? Well, you can choose how you want the room to be. There is an option to basically allow any items anywhere, but there are certain puzzle elements of it. So if you just leave a teddy on the floor, it will glow. Um, and that means that that's not specifically where that should live. So there are places where things should live, um, including this journal, which I'm not 100% sure. Maybe if I take the iPod out and put that somewhere else. No, no. Maybe it's this. Maybe this is... Because I think the iPod's fine on here, yes. And then put this in here. There we go. It's happier with that. That's an odd uh, orientation of boombox. Can I move the boombox? No. Can the football live on the floor? Can the football live in the corner? It can. Like Dark Cloud 1, Dark Chronicle. Yes. Yeah, exactly like that, actually. <laughs> oh, I haven't played that game in a while. So the bathroom, there's a problem with the bathroom. We don't like the soap there. I'm going to put the soap there. And that's that's the, the end of that level. So it's happy that we've got things in certain places. And that's us unpacked. We've unpacked into our, in our, into our dorm room, basically, which is lovely. Um, let's just take a quick photo. <laughs> I love these floors. Um, oh, that one's nice. I like that one. And then frame it. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And now we can go back. Yep. And then we can finish. Hooray! And this goes smack bang in the photo album. Classes start Monday. Uni, here I come. Two thousand and seven. Oh wow! So we now have a layout. We now have two bedrooms, three bedrooms, so shared house, um, a bathroom, a living room, uh, a living diner, and a kitchen. So in the living room, there's so there's already stuff in this, right? This is already a, a thing. It's already a school uniform. I think it's cosplay. I think it's a cosplay uniform. Um, so there's already stuff in this house, which means we're moving into someone's house, right? So we, can, we can't we can move stuff that isn't ours. So like the PlayStation, the controllers, the TV, etc. We can't move that sort of stuff. We can't move the terrarium, anything like that. So we're going to have a quick scout through the other rooms. But very nice sewing set and some cosplay stuff here. Good collection of weird magnets. 
in a stocked kitchen. <laughs> really dirty sink though. <laughs> so we've got some boxes in the kitchen that need to be unpacked, some bo a box in the bathroom that needs to be unpacked. So how many people are we talking about? So there's only three people because there's already two toothbrushes there. And this is our room. So I guess we're going to do our room first. Can I open the window? No. Can I open the blind? No. If I zoom out a smidge. This is like my real life housework. Yeah, there's something weird about it. I, I've, I've unpacked into new houses a couple of times now. It's always the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. But there's something so cathartic about this game. It's so lovely. Like, it's also a really nice story. Like, so this, this young woman, you, you unpacked sort of the childhood bedroom and then you've unpacked the uni uh, dorm room and now you're unpacking the shared house with friends and just as she goes through life, it's a, it's a lovely little story that you sort of piece together through these scenes, but it's never really told to you. You know, it's never explained what's going on. Uh, okay, so computer, let's start with this box. Now let's do exactly what we were doing last time. Let's unpack everything. A tablet, a giant D&D, &D, a mouse, a very worn mouse pad. Actually, we'll just pop that over there. Pop the mouse on it. Uh, we can pop the keyboard up as and when we find it. And then that's that done. That's not a lot for that box. It must have been a very small box. A book, an alarm clock, which doesn't have a home, <laughs> which is weird. Set the alarm. Um, a picture. A other picture, a other picture. So clearly gone, gone around and traveling. Uh, iPod, uh, coat hanger. I'll just pop that on the floor over there. We'll make some space. An other book, an other picture. Book, book. Oh, art supplies, of course. More art supplies. This music gives me very slight World of Horror vibes. I know it's, it's absolutely nothing to do with World of Horror, but very slight World of Horror vibes. Okay. God, I wish that disappearing box trick really worked when you moved house. Was it? Clothes. So, clothes. Oops. I've done what I always do. Clothes. 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 A book. Well, the the photo album, which we should go somewhere safe. Actually, we'll pop that up there. Um, actually, oh, more clothes. We'll pop it up there, so it's very safe. More clothes. More clothes. More clothes. Don't put shoes on the bed. You're not an animal. Oh, another book. Another uh, shoe. Some more clothes. Some more clothes. Some more clothes. Some more clothes. Aha! Folding clothes. Excellent. Jeans, skirt, shirt, t-shirt, good, t-shirt, t-shirt, hoodie, whoops, hoodie, pow, now we've got some more space, which is nice, and the book, and, oops, another book, ooh, upgraded our Game Boy, that's good, that's cool, I miss my old Game Boy, I miss my old Game Boy SP, it was such a cool thing to have when I was a kid. Oh, I've, I've lost that book forever now. That book's behind there. There we go. Oh, I can't stack any more books. Got it. So I will just stack them here. Ah, the computer. Good. I used to love these. The idea of these um, units that would have built-in space for a computer. Like, that was such a cool concept to me. And now I just realise, oh, I can turn it on. I gotta turn that I got I gotta turn the, the thingy off, the music, audio, music. Right, back, back, oops, resume, turn this up. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Okay, turn the audio back up. <laughs> Settings, audio. Love the old clicky noise of a hard drive. <laughs> Brilliant. 
I just gotta keep that on. It's like my PC. It never goes off. <laughs> Dunk. Pop up. Oh, maybe it's ins maybe it's Messenger. Oh God, maybe it's MSN. Oh my days. <laughs> so obviously Terry and I are on exactly the same wave like that. Uh, oh the di oh the diploma. Very nice. Uh, clothes. Uh, clothes. I'm gonna have to start floor piling in a minute. Clothes. 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 More clothes. <laughs> More t-shirts. The filing cabinet. Excellent. More clothes. Oh, is that a dress or a skirt? I think that was a dress. And poster. And hanger. And tattered jeans. And the leg pile. Oh no, that's not that pile. Oh no, I've run out of piles. Oh, oh I'm gonna have to start. Oh, I can pile on here. Good. A frisbee, so that's miscellaneous. More. Um. Clothing. <laughs> when I was thrown into humongous random chat groups by associates. God, yeah, tell me about it. What is this? Is that like. I don't even know what that is. There's some sort of backpack thing. Maybe it's like a, a cooler of some sort. I'm not sure. Uh, clothes. I'm going to have to floor pile the bars. Because there's no space left on the bed whatsoever. The bag. Well, here comes the thunder. A shirt. A shirt. Oh, well, looks like a uniform. A blouse. Shirt. An apron for someone that has a pumpkin logo. It's hanging up. A yoga mat. There is a thunderstorm here version. So it's thundered on and off every almost every day this week. Um yeah, almost every day. It's rained every day and it's thundered nearly every day. And we had some wicked lightning uh two or three days ago. Yeah, you might get it tomorrow, to be honest with you. It's heading that way. Oh, this is a bathroom bin. Let's go to the bathroom for a second. Bathroom bin, we'll sort that out afterwards. Yeah, just immediate, immediate downpours of, uh, of rain. Only one pound weights. Right, so let's open this. <laughs> We're blessed by the UK's weather the past few weeks. Keep the 40 degrees Celsius as well. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen. If this, if it gets to 40 degrees in this room, I will die. Because I'm in an, I'm not an attic room, but I'm in the top floor room. Um, and I've literally got this, this side of here. Um, is a slope room that is directly uh, summer facing. Uh, and the skylight, I mean, I've, I've got a blind on the skylight, so that's not too bad. But the skylight's right there. So if the window is ever open and it's hot, it's just hot air that comes through. There's nothing else. There's never any breeze. Which is unfortunate, I've got to admit. Um, okay, so let's sort out some clothes. So we're going to hang some stuff up first. We've got a number of hangers. Oh, we've got some trouser hangers as well. How exciting. Let's hang up some... Oh, no. Uh, let's not hang up trousers. Let's hang up skirts. There we go. Because they definitely need hanging up. Um, trousers don't mind so much. But skirts, you want to keep the creases out of them. There we go. Uh, the nice stuff you hang up. So blouse, work uniform, not too fussed about. The shirt, the other blouse, work uniform, not too fussed about. The other shirt, spare work uniform. You just keep that folded and nice. Do you know what I mean? Some pants, um, bras and socks and knickers. Uh, oh, that's your work hat. I see. Can I go on top of that? It can go on top of that. Brilliant. So that's your work pile. That's good. Uh, we don't have any more hangers, though, do we? So we can't hang the hoodie up, which is unfortunate. But what we can do is we can pop all your work stuff there, because you need to, need to hand. Pop your trousers up here with your hoodie. I'm missing some... Unless I've got mis mismatched uh, pyjamas, I'm missing some pyjamas. We're going to do what we did last time and just try and stack all of your underwear and socks into one draw. Whoops. Whoops. I keep grabbing the art supplies by accident. Socks. 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 Pants. Whoops. Did 
Can you grab the D20 then? No, I don't want in that draw. Thank you. I forgot there was a pair of trousers there actually. So let's do that, make it a bit more tidy. Um, and the spare t-shirts we're going to pop here. The books we're going to move over. The iPod, I'll tell you what, can I keep the iPod under the bed? I mean, in fairness, that's where I keep my, there is always a pair of earphones under my pillow. Without a shadow of a doubt. I, there's never not. Um, book, book, book. Oh, these are like art books, but art books and journals. Um, look at the forecast. It says around 22 to 24, so I'm happy with my favorite temperature. That's a good temperature. It's a nice, reasonable temperature, I've got to admit. I just, when it gets, it just, when it gets too hot, I just, I don't mind it being hot. It's just when it gets too hot to actually physically do anything. You just like, well, you just, all you're doing is breathing hot air. Like, that's all you're doing. There we go. Um, can, and what can go away? Let's put the journal away. The D20, I don't think goes in here. The art supplies definitely go in here. Uh, so I'm just going to put those on the bed. The teddy is 100% going to stay on here. The pajamas are going to go stacked in here. There we go. You can go there. The yoga mat is going to go... Can we go back on the bottom of the closet? Can it go the other way? No, it can't. So the yoga mat and the weights are probably going to go in here. The boots, etc., are going to go... Oh, God, no. Those are some nice-looking boots. I'm not going to lie. Joe, you know, when I was younger... I say younger. When I was a teen, I really wanted a pair of um, new rock metal boots. Like, they were the proper goth, high-heeled boots. They looked fantastic. And they were like a, a status symbol as well. Like, you were cool if you had a pair of new rocks. Um, can the bag go somewhere else? What about the bag in there? The filing cabinet up there because it's a filing cabinet. Um, these look like... Are these ballet shoes? I mean, they don't look like ballet shoes specifically, but they look maybe like climbing shoes. Who knows? I don't know what that is. I really have no clue what that is. So it's going to have to just be there for now. Um, the organisational goblin in me isn't liking that I can't put everything away so the art supplies oh, that, that. let's get the eraser and let's get how many of these can go in here one one of those can go in there oh no two two of those can go in there before it gets stuck good and then put that up there. Can these go on top of that? No. Can these go on top of that? No. Curses. Uh, I don't want it to be like super cluttered up there though. But I think it's going to have to be. It's not super duper cluttered, but it is cluttered. I don't think that's a problem. If it is, we'll sort out afterwards. Okay, let's unpack what we've got in here. I love the D&D character sheets and the dice tower and stuff like that. I love this. Uh, so D&D book, good. D&D book. Probably a D&D book. I mean, it looks a little bit like a D&D book. Or graphic novels or something. That's 100% a D&D character. That's brilliant. Oh, you can go with these characters. And I was like, I'm going to guess maybe like Adventure Notes book. Oh, a teddy. There we go. And then, oh, another teddy. <laughs> oh, I think those were one of the teddies that you could uh, you could buy as well because they they did a limited run of physical plushies, which I gotta be honest, I'm surprised I didn't I didn't buy because I've bought lots of other plushies. I bought a Silent Hill plushie recently of uh, Mira the dog. Uh, you are going to go up here because you are fabulous. Oh, that's a paint. That's a picture, which is going to go up here. Is it a picture? Yeah, it's a picture. I think it's a picture. I don't think it's a planet in there. No, so that's that box done. And then we've got another picture. Oh wait, can pictures go up on other people's walls? They can go on other people's walls. Brilliant. So as long as they don't mind. 
these are oh there's no space on the thing curses these are prime top of uh, bookcase candidates though unless there's other well i guess there's teddies here as well isn't there so we could maybe put teddies in here yeah definitely cosplayers <laughs> Cosplayers or e-streamers? <laughs> Not sure which. Another what was like an adventure book? Another adventure book? And a regular book, I think? Just a normal oh no, I don't like that. There we go. Just a normal book. Let's put some of the teddies in here then. And let's see if it complains at us afterwards. Now, can the chicks go with the the mother? Oh, there we go. They can sort of go. Put that there. There we go. Now it's a bit better. Uh, the D and D statue with the other D and D books. Uh, the other D and D stuff. The um, D and D books. Can I not stand this? Now, I'm not sure these are adventure books. I mean, they might be. They look a little bit like adventure books, like limited edition adventure books, like the limited edition covers of D&D books. Let's put that there, and let's... Does this fit? It does fit, but I hate it. There we go. Um, I still remember I met a guy on the internet who introduced anime and manga to me. Interesting. Were you not aware of anime and manga before that point? Or is this, is this a tongue-in-cheek thing? Let's put the D20 on there. Was there someone who tried to introduce you to, like, like, oh, actually, there's a difference between the two. Oh, DVDs. I don't remember when I first got into uh, manga, I've got to admit. Uh, these figures probably fit lovely up here. Wait, do what I normally do. Take, ev take everything out first and then put it away. A book. Oh, a shirt. Oh, it was around 2001 or so when we got the internet. Oh, I see. So it was a genuine kind of, by the way, this is this is anime, this is manga. Oh, God, there's so many rooms. Um, <laughs> the whole wall wall. Uh, get rid of that. Pium. Oh, lovely picture. I wonder if I can go up here. Beautiful art. Who doesn't love a bit of art? A, ga a GameCube. Legally distinct from a GameCube. Can these go down here, please? Is that okay? Thank you. Oh, gams for GamCube. Uh, 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 uh. I'm doing what I said I wouldn't. I'm unpacking stuff. I like to, I like to unpack everything first and then start putting stuff away. Curses. I've done. What is that? Oh, it's a blanket. Got it. It's like a comfort blanket. Is that the blanket from the bed in the re at the beginning? More art. Beautiful. Oh, boombox. That's a that's a kitchen thing, that is. There's a boombox in the kitchen. I bet you don't like that. I 100% bet that game, the game does not like this. In the slightest. It's definitely not going to like the CDs. See, if it wasn't in the... If it, sh it, sh it wasn't supposed to go in the kitchen, it wouldn't be with the kitchen stuff. Another dooved. Another dooved. Yeah, I don't remember when I first got into uh, anime and manga. I don't remember what age I was. My mum was still alive, so I, must, I was pre-teen. Um, and I remember late on, like, Channel 4 in the UK, the, like, late, like, 2 in the morning Channel 4, they would have an episode of an um, an anime or a manga of an anime. It was it was uh, advertised as manga because that was the brand, right? But it was an, it was an anime called 3 by 3 Eyes. And I just remember that being very influential to me liking anime. Where does this live? What is this? Can this live up here? No. What is? Why can this not live anywhere? What is this? Is this a kitchen? Is this a living room thing? Is this just a living room thing? I don't understand what this even is. Why is this book not... Why can I not put this anywhere? Well, the board game can go down here, right? That's a thing. Oh, that's not my stuff. <laughs> Don't touch not my stuff. 
Yeah, they have, they'd have like, um, they'd run a trailer for like Fist of the North Star, and then they would have an episode of Three by Three Eyes. And I don't even know if Three by Three Eyes was, uh, I think it was Three X Three Eyes. I don't know if that was a series or if it was a movie that they just cut up into pieces. Channel Four was weird back in those days. Cool, don't get me wrong, because they had stuff like that, but weird. I don't know what this book is. Maybe it lives on here. Maybe it's an art book. What does it look like? It was like colours. Definitely looks like colours. So let's just put it there and see if it complains at us after the fact. Uh, I discovered I liked anime and Euro anime before I knew what it was. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and then I found we got cable TV uh, in. I can't remember if that was no, that was that was before Mum as well. Um, so that would have been 97, 98 maybe. I was like 11, 12, something like that. I think um, I was around that, that age, and we we got um, cable TV, Sky cable TV, and I discovered The Giver. That was probably the first series anime series that I watched, and I was like, this is the thing I'm really into. And I do love anime. Don't get me wrong. I really like anime. I just, I'm very picky about anime these days. I think, what was the recent one? Seven Deadly Sins is probably the one I've watched most recently. Um, and I think it's the time commitment as well. Like, some animes have a lot of filler episodes. Um, so I don't really... I like it to be... I like it to be fulfilling, you know? I like it to be um, quite... Not impactful, not fulfilling. What's the what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, eventful. I like things to happen. I don't mind if things happen slowly. Don't get me wrong, but I like things to happen. Uh, that probably belongs in the bathroom. Let's sort that out in a minute. I haven't watched a while. Yeah, I can't remember the one before that was. It was a big one, big big one. But that had a lot of low points. I think it was Sword Art Online. Yeah, event. Yeah, I want it to be eventful. I want it to be like I want something to happen. I don't like boring episodes. I like even if it's intrigue. I like something to happen. Um, but yeah, I, uh, before that, I was watching Sword Art Online. Or we watched Sword Art Online up until the first movie, anyway. And that's good uh, up until a point, and then it gets very, very dull because there, there's just a lot of, not a lot of stuff happening each episode. And it's like 40 minutes. So you like, you stood there, stood there. You sat there not really taking anything in. Does that make sense? Like, you, nothing's going on. Like, the next bit of the story isn't isn't unfolding. The next bit of the character arc isn't unfolding. They're just, they're just kind of, not wasting time, but wasting time. Uh, that can go in here. They can go there. How much space have we got in this uh, in these drawers? How much space has been left for us? Ooh, fancy tea towels and drawers. Oh, that's always fancy. Your last animes were My Life as a Slime. <laughs> I like the idea of that one. Uh, Re Zero. Uh, Konosuba and Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan's good, don't get me wrong. My problem with Attack on Titan is, um, and obviously I have to have a problem with it. No, I like Attack on Titan because it's interesting, it's different. We watched the first episode years and years ago now. Um, we watched the very first episode uh, on Netflix and we were blown away by, by it. And we were like, we have to watch more of this. So we just binge watched what was available. Um, and then I, I actually got the, the manga for it. Are there no hooks? There are no hooks. Uh, I actually got the manga for it. Um, and I think I got a subscription to something manga related as well. I can't quite remember what it was. Uh, but I got a subscription and I, I read all of them. Just all of them. And now it's, I kind of feel like, well, I know what happens. So I'm not too in a rush to watch the anime. You know, I'm not too in a rush to watch them. Where else can this fit? Can this fit anywhere? No, this cannot fit anywhere else. I 
yeah, I couldn't, I, I couldn't wait for the next season to be made. And when someone was like, why don't you just watch it? Why don't you just read it on such and such? I was like, I, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so I was immediately like, okay, I'm going to just read all of the manga. So I did. Uh, after watching the second season or so, I couldn't wait either. So I was stuck in the manga for eight years or so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is there a hook? There we go. Uh, now, there's some definite problems with this kitchen. I'm not going to lie. The water bottle doesn't feel like it's in a good place. That's probably a better place for it. Maybe even up here. Who knows? Um, some of this stuff does not feel like it's in the right place. So I think it's going to whinge at me. I'm not 100% certain. I'm probably going to put that there just in case. But we'll see. We'll see. The kitchen looks like it does look like well, I can't move a lot of this stuff. That's the problem. Um, it's not my kitchen, it's our kitchen, right? So, there's not a lot of... Can I go on top of that? No, I can't. And I also don't want it on top of the baking trays, it's gross. Um, so, like, the, the toaster I can't move, the coffee machine, the kitchen towel, lots of this stuff I can't move, the tea and coffee stuff. This I can move, this I can move. Um, this has no, no place. You thought the oven was a dishwasher? That's fair enough. This I can't seem to move. I can have that on the on the pan and then have that in there, I guess. Can that oh that can go there, lovely. But yeah, there's a lot of oh no, I've moved my bug killer. There we go. It's as clean as it can be right now. So um first aid kit, I'm gonna just pop in there. Bin. There's there's multi bins now. Pop that there. So we've got a toothbrush, some toothpaste, a razor, some nail clippers. Those are the biggest nail clippers I've ever seen in my life. A hairbrush, a, a go uh, makeup kit, um, the pill, presumably, uh, antiperspirant, some perfume, a loofah brush. Uh, some shampoo and conditioner, brilliant. Head, both head and shoulders, and fancy body body uh, wash as well. Nice to see. You love to see it. Some uh, sandwich towels, some tampons, and an air freshener for when ladies poop, um, which never happens. So air freshener can go in there. They can go under here. This can go here, I guess. That's sort of like the 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 go the grab and go makeup bag. Um, how much space have we got in the shower? We've got some space in the shower. So, head, shoulders, and body wash can go in there. Oh, the loofah brush. Where can the loofah brush hang? Loofah brush can hang there. Oh, look, they left me a drawer. That's really nice. <laughs> Do these fit? Does this all fit in here? I kind of hope this all fits in here. I'm not going to lie. The razor, yeah, everything fits apart from the toothbrush and the toothpaste. So the toothbrush and the toothpaste, I'm going to put toothpaste there, I'm going to put toothbrush there. So what don't we like? Now I knew you wouldn't like the boom box. I know you, you, you're you okay with the boom box in the kitchen, you don't like the CDs in the kitchen. Understood. Can the CDs go there? They certainly can. The spatula, of course it's the spatula. What else? You're not a fan of that, are you? You're definitely not a fan of that. So what else can we take out of these drawers? What have we got in these drawers? It's not... Oh, that can go on top of there. That gives me some more space here. That's good. That sorts that. Okay. So, the living room. It, it's actually perfectly happy with the living room. The dining room. This book. What is this book then? Where is this book going? Where, where do you live, book? I don't understand. Also, these um, souvenirs are all over the place. Where? What is this book? Where can this book go? It's a coffee table book. Of course it is. What is a coffee table book of? I have no idea. But it's a coffee table book. So let's go to our room. Let's take another sneaky sneaky picture. Have another filter. What's this one? Ooh, dark and moody. I like it. We're in our teen years now, I assume. So we're going to appreciate that. Um, and let's go with... Ooh, what should we go with? 
Let's go with this. Let's go with the Polaroid again. I quite like the Polaroid. There we go. Let's go back. Uh, yes, leave photo mode. And we're done on that level. I got a D20 um, sticker fly through the air then. This was a big day. I am ready for bed. Nice. So that's 2007. 2010, three years later. Oh, I see. So we've, we're moving in with someone from the look of it. Someone who lifts weights. Someone who listens to vinyl. Oh, I can move the vinyl player. Can I move anything else? Oh, and plays video games. And drinks. So there's that. Let's rearrange their stuff. <laughs> um, can we arrange all of their stuff? <laughs> so let's have a quick look at the other uh, rooms in the house. So we've got. So it's an apartment. So we've got a living room and kitchen. So a kitchen, living, bathroom, and bedroom. So the kitchen. Ooh, very bachelor pad. I like it. Lots of very posh uh, plates. Good, uh, good crockery and glassware. Hard judging going on right now. Um, very, very posh. Very deliberate coffee uh, percolator there. We've got salt and pepper grinders like those. They're amazing. They were really expensive though. <laughs> Well, copper, a copper pan. I bet that's never seen that hood in its life. Guarantee that has never been on that hob. My phone is going bananas again because there's rain on the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's going bananas because there's rain on the camera. So we've got that. We've got the bathroom. Oh my God, what a wanky bathroom. <laughs> Apologies, the lo-fi game is not normally the place for me to swear, but this is such a guy's bath. This is such a single man's bathroom. This is a power move bathroom. This really is, and it's just not very nice. Like he's really not nice. No one, I don't, I don't understand a black toilet. I really don't. Oh, electric toothbrush. Oh, I can move his electric toothbrush. I can move his shaver as well. Oh, exciting. Uh, his his laptop case and his incense burner. I can't set his clock for him. Oh, I can tune into a different radio station though. Breaking news. <laughs> That's how I'm going to do all my YouTube videos from now on. Uh, very organised. Oh, faulty. He rolls his ties. That's interesting. I used to. I. I used to wear ties for work, and I never found it productive to fold them at all. He's given us two drawers. Wow, sort your pants out, man. <laughs> like, don't have them so so spaced out. Um, okay, so let's let's make a start. Oh, we have a pet. We have a pet. I have a number of ties. Um, I had. Sorry, I had a number of ties. Um, I no longer have a number of ties. I don't, I don't have a job where I need to wear a tie anymore. I'm a researcher, so. Um, oh, souvenirs. Let's put our souvenirs up here. These are nice. Uh, we've got a book. Plumbers don't wear ties. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Can't argue with that. Uh, that looks like a, a Legend of Zelda guide. Um, is that DVD? Is that DVD? Is there, are there other DVDs here? Oh, that's, that's, that's a DVD shelf. Um, these are like art books. Cool. One box down. We've got some books here, which I'm not sure if they're going to go on here. Look at this little Zen garden. What is this as well? Oh, a, a, a cocktail set. This is such a pretentious front room. I'm a fan of this, though. I'm a fan of this, the unit. I'm just not a fan of the unit that owns it. Um, right. Books. This is not like someone who plays D&D. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'm not sure where the cockroach is going to go. D&D uh, &D stuff. I'm not... I don't know. D&D um, &D stuff. Oh, God. I nearly stole his VCR then. 
DVD, DVD, DVD. A ukulele. Can my ukulele hang on the wall? <laughs> Boo. Uh, Uh, another DVD and oh a game well the games are going to go together naturally and a book and a book pile oh there's so much stuff a D&D book a D&D book uh, oh those are oh no I'm out of room this book needs to go on this and then this book needs to go down here go down here there we go because these are book books and these are D&D &D books so these are book books and these are D&D books uh, that was like a D&D &D book, we assumed from last time, anyway. Oh, these are definitely D&D &D books. Oh, I've, I've run out of room. <laughs> Get rid of that. Okay, let's start putting some of the D&D &D stuff away. Can I stand this up? Yes, I can. Let's get the notebook off there first. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. Excellent stuff. Um, the art books, I'm not sure where they're going to go. I mean, those definitely belong in the bedroom, and they're just taking up valuable, valuable real estate right now. What's in here? Oh, plushies. Hooray. No idea where they're going to live. CDs. Excellent. Oh, wait, can I take... Well, the individual CDs, will they just not fit in with his? Like, do I have to have that... Potentially broken CD holder. <laughs> uh, another plushie. They can just sit on the bed right now. Uh, <laughs> got a whole collection of these plushies now. Look at the butt on that <laughs> on that plushie. <laughs> oh, learn to play the ukulele. That's very important. Um, that's going to go with your box, Mister Namelessman. This is going to move, right? Yeah, good. This is gonna move. Oh, a comforter. Lovely. Uh, another book. And other book. And other book. <laughs> right now I'm just placing stuff. I don't really know where to place stuff anymore. That's like Avatar. Um, your DVDs. Uh, so it's there anything left from the previous house you kept? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. Maybe you've like stolen a cup or something. <laughs> But this is the um, like the acquisition of things through life, right? Like you, you are you are the collection of things. There's a subtle nod to capitalism here, but there's, you are the collection of things that are around you. If that makes sense, um, it's moving that stuff from one through life from one place to another. Can I turn stuff on? Oh, I can turn this on. What's this? It's playing. Oh, of course it's yeah. Of course it's uh, Android Assault Cactus. Their previous game. Uh, controllers. I will be placing my controller over there. Yeah. My mishmash controllers. Oh no, there's not a friend. Well, they're gonna have to go in with the DVDs, I'm afraid. Oh, another plushie. Excellent. That game needs to go in there. Thank you. Oh no, I'm in the wrong room. There we go. And other game? No, it's definitely not going to fit. Uh, now, an interesting thought is, is this going to fit down here? It is going to fit down here. Oh good, I can turn it on as well. Brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so some books, some regular books. Oh, clothes. Uh, regular box, regular box. What? Are th what is this? Are these just n like coffee table books again? If so, I'm just gonna put these here. This is this is books, right? Books can go here. Um, any any space books? You, you got any book space, friend? There we go. Got some book space. We've got another. We've got a random D and D book that we don't have space for. Um, which may just have to live over there. I gotta be honest. We've got lots more books that we don't have space for, and this I'm not certain of the weight capacity of this thing. There you go, that fits. These fit lovely in between your little Zen garden and your Oh no, DVDs, curses. I'm out of space. <laughs> I'm gonna start stacking stuff on top of speakers. Uh, 
Right, let's think about this properly now. Let's take this in here. And then what we can do is, this is music, right? That's music, so we can put that there. We can move whatever the hell that is. I have no idea what that is. Oh, some sort of, some football thing, rugby thing? I don't know. Uh, these notebooks like to be together because they look better together. Ugh, apart from the fact that they can't be together because of stupid stuff. The glasses are in the way. <laughs> uh, we've stacked all the games though, so that's a good thing. Uh, this isn't a book like that, is it? No. Such pretty books. It's got such pretty taste in books. The DVDs can go over here. There we go. I'm gonna guess there's no. Oh, there's no. No. Guesses. No. Can the controllers go under the TV? Oh, the controllers go in front of the TV. That's how my controllers are, and that's fine. I have little stands for my controllers. I mean, in fairness, one of them is next to the TV, one was on the TV. So, not well, not on the, in front of the TV. So. Oh, look, there's loads of room there. Absolutely tons of room. And then we've got space. We're going to have the little um, Eiffel Tower there. The little leaning tower piece are there. It looks well fancy. You have that there. You can have that there. Uh, the terrarium, I think, is going to go there. I'm just going to lay out some coasters. Soon you'll only use one. Uh, yeah, that looks all right. That looks fine. Lovely. Uh, okay, so, kitchen. So, we have a plant. The plant can go nowhere, apparently. <laughs> plant can go in here. So, we've got biscuit barrel. Let's put stuff over here, actually, because I'm blocking drawers there. Biscuit barrel. We've got lovely little measuring spoons. Our trusty peeler. Oh, a new tin opener. Clearly stolen that from the previous house. Uh, oh, spice. Spicy spice. Have we got a drawer of spice by any chance? No, we don't. Oh, my God. Look at that. Very, very ostentatious cutlery. Uh, is that a cleaver? Oh, of course he's got a tub of protein in there. There we go. A cleaver. No one needs a cleaver. No one needs it. Oh, soft, soft touch drawers. We've actually got soft touch drawers because my wife changed all the drawers in the uh, thingy. Oh, look, it's a picture of us. I assume it's a picture of us anyway. Um, she changed all the drawers in the kitchen because she's an absolute fucking legend. I'm going to put your neutral bullet over here, maybe, friend. Because it's near a plug then. And then carry on unpacking, I guess. More spice, mm, sugar, uh, oil. Uh, presumably balsamic vinegar? I'm guessing. A garlic crusher. More mag more pictures with magnets. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, look at the friends. Oh, they must have been the, the, the uni friends. Dish towel. Oh, laptop. Oh, then tablet. Oops. And other tablet? Oh, it's a whiteboard. Of course it is. Oh, excellent. I can draw on it. <laughs> oh, in the middle. Thank you. Uh, can I not middleize these? Oh, wait, no, these can go on the side. Brilliant. Excellent. There we go. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> so that's that box done. Uh, big Kniff. Little uh, Spoon. A spatula. Oh, that's a bathroom thing. The bathroom leaf. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the kitchen. I have my hand poised over like the WAS and date, like some sort of lunatic. Oh no, I've done what I always do and opened multiple boxes. Kettle, slow cooker, big pan. Everyone needs a big pan. Uh, I've done what I normally do and I've blocked things. Oh no. Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. Toaster and a star. Mm. Nice. So I'm gonna go. Well, let's put the slow cooker under here. The kettle. I mean, your thing can just go up here. 
because you don't need a weighing scale out all the time, friend. I can go over there. The big pan. I'm not really sure where the big pan is going to go. I can go... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I can just probably sit there, to be honest with you. There's no, there's no damage of being there. Living room? Let's just go in the living room. Spices. Where can spices go? Oh, they also have a water bottle. Lovely. Uh, matching water bottle buddies. Must have been fated. Um, let's have some spices in here. It's a lot of dead space here, friend. I'm not normally one to complain, but there's a lot of there's a lot of unused space. Unutilized space is what I'm seeing right here. Um, this can probably go if I just put this here for a second this colander can probably go here the knife no space for the knife there the space knife here though it's got a meat thermometer and what looks like a coffee press uh not a coffee press what's the word I'm looking for Oh, it is a coffee press, isn't it? it? When you when you pour, when you get ground coffee into a into a receptacle and you want to you want to smush it down so it goes into one of the cup machines. Oh my god, words are really hard right now. <laughs> uh, where can these go? The balsamic vinegar. Can we put under here? Well, I can. Lovely. Balsamic vinegar, oil, um, sugar is going to go out. I'm sorry to offend you. Oh, no. Let's open this drawer. Open this drawer. Open this door. So there we go. Speaking of drawers, oh no, not that one. This one. A garlic crusher. Can't believe someone like this guy doesn't have a garlic crusher. Uh, and uh, baking things. Oh, let's uh, let's see if they fit in here. Do they also fit in here? No, they don't. But they fit in there, which is good. And then they... Are there any spare little spaces in here? No? Okay. Any spare little space in here? Well, there is. There's some space at the side. Excellent. And then the plank can just sit in the middle. All right. I think that's the kitchen done. So in the kitchen, the living room, we need the bathroom. Which, thank God, there was only one in the bathroom. Oh, we've still got the cup. Oh, I've got a t-shirt as well. Um, <laughs> lots of things. Oh, panini press. God, that panini press is massive. I don't know where that's going to go in the bathroom. In the, in the, in the kitchen. Um, right, we've still got the, the excellent old cup that's going to have our toothbrush and our toothpaste in. Presumably the toothpaste is going to be in a different thing now. Give me a different box. So let's pop that there. And let's pop this in here. Let's also move some of this stuff around a little bit because Meladio doesn't know how to organize himself. Um, there. That's definitely not going in here. That's going to stay in there. This can probably stay out. Yeah, should be fine. Uh, these, I mean, in fairness, they're probably going to go on a shelf because they're necessary. So all of your stuff can go up here. <laughs> why Why have you got your comb laid down, man? Like, that's so weird. I don't have it laid down like that. <laughs> lady products. It's missized lady products. I'm just going to move that that way and that that way because it's nicer on my brain. The... Oh, the, the head and shoulders are in the way. Got it. And there we go. So the loofah. Lovely. Um, and then we're going to just shimmy your stuff to one side. There we go. Now that's not really got a space here, has it? So let's maybe... Can I lay this down? Nope, can't lay that down. That's going to go there. This is, oh, I was going to say this is hopefully going to go in here. Yeah, it is. These can go in this drawer. And the the can of spray can, I guess, stay out here. I don't think it's going to like that, but I guess it can stay out. Um, 
Right, I need to rearrange. Oh no, these aren't these aren't gonna work, are they? There's storage for that. I need to rearrange your plates, friend. Sorry, my panini maker. <laughs> my my uh not panini maker, what is it called? Um George Foreman. My George Foreman grill needs uh, needs some space. In fact, I'll move it there. So we'll use it. <laughs> Uh, living room is done to a certain degree. Um, now bedroom, because the bathroom's done now. Bedroom. Oh, whoops. I accidentally moved his uh, clock and it reset the time. So let's just uh, make some room for the person you just invited in your life, shall we? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so we've got so many things uh, socks pants pants or oh, game boy i forgot about that i forgot how fun this person was now i'm surrounded by nothing but boredom in around here um ipod oh the photo album that needs to go somewhere safe uh where can i go you go somewhere it's not gonna get manhandled go. oh the weights Oh no, that means I've got a yoga mat as well, doesn't it? Okay, this is... Uh, more pants. More pants. More pants. Hooray. Uh, shiny shirt. Bra. Pants. Bra. Come on, turn it around. There we go. Uh, another bra. Oh, a spotty bra. Uh, more... Well, there are they? They're not pajamas. Oh, that looks like a fancy going... That's like an out-out shirt. Rather than a thingy. Um, those are definitely pyjamas. Just fancy silk pyjamas as well. Whew. Those are her early 90 pyjamas. Okay, what else? We have a dress. Oh no, don't put them in the bed. Oof. And a teddy. Yay. And some socks. Can I still put stuff under the pillow? Yep. I mean, I'm 100% going to put the iPod under the pillow. Because that's just where they live. <laughs> a shirt. In other shirt. I'm still working at the pumpkin place, I see. Um, trousers, trousers, a t shirt. That's a different pile. Oh, is there not a t shirt somewhere else? Did I just leave a t shirt somewhere? I think I abandoned a t shirt somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, skirt, skirt. Oh, oh so I can only have two. Oh, it's because they're caught on the bed, that's why. There we go. Oops. Come on. You can do it. There we go. So close. So very close. There. A shoe. Which can just go directly into the closet. And other shoe. And hanger. This weird mishmash of hangers that we've now got. Lovely matching hangers, friend. Lovely, lovely matching hangers. Uh, skirt. Where's skirts? There's skirts. Uh, blouse. So, hanging up here. Oh no, that's not. I'm not hanging up the uh, work uniform, am I? I'm just laying it. These are all hanging up here. And that's the work uniform. The diploma. Oh, there's nowhere to put the diploma. Let's just pop it on the floor in the living room for now. So it can be presented proudly. The yoga mat. And other hanger. Ooh, a posh bag. Nice. Like bag. Uh, shoes. Date shoes, no less. Oh, plimps holes. Ah, oh, there you go. There's the other date shoe. Uh, can these go anywhere else? This is sort of go back there. Wait, can the yoga mat go back there, actually? No, but the yoga mat can go there. Oh, the yoga mat can go probably here, to be honest. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, uniform. Uh, something to hang up. Something else to hang up. Ooh, nice cardigan. There we go. Yes, yes. Now, I'm, I'm well aware you don't like any of this. I'm just unpacking it for the sake of my own sanity. Delicious. Right, so now he's left us some drawers, which is lovely. And now we've got bras and pants in one. Yep, 
Yeah, bras and pants in one. Oops. Socks. Wah. And another. Ooh, I wonder if will they go on? Yeah, they'll go in front of that. Lovely. Let's just move that to one side. That was excellent. These shoes. I think probably just need to go like that. That's an awful arrangement of shoes. I hate that. I hate all. I hate all. There we go. Um, pajamas can just go there, I guess. I've got a fancy a fancy shirt. I've got my work uniform. I've got these clothes. I've got these that preferably would like to be hung up. There we go. Can I not hang this shirt up? Oh, I can. I just can't hang up there. Got it. Ah, I see. Because it's a dress. I understand now. Put that there. And then... Oh, no. I still can't hang it up. Why can't I hang it up there? Is it because there's something in the way? Oh, is the yoga mat in the way? The yoga mat's in the way. I understand. I understand completely. Pop these shoes up here. This is a weird place. I've never put shoes in a weirder place than this. Um, that's not necessarily true. I've put shoes in pretty weird places. Hoodie. I can go there. Uh, cardigan. I can probably go in this drawer, actually. Uh, and there's quite a lot of stuff still, isn't there? Um, <laughs> how much more space is he giving us? Not tons. Just a... Uh, share space. <laughs> Whether he likes it or not. <laughs> Only one pair of pants can fit in there. That seems that feels a bit pointless. To be honest with you. Uh close. Close. How do you close? Close. Hmm. Gonna have to move your ties, Bucko. Sorry. My art supplies are gonna go in here and my trousers are apparently not going anywhere. Um, let's move the book. No, apparently my trousers aren't going anywhere. Uh, let's move that there. Ooh, let's move these down here. Oh, these can go under here. Got it, got it. I see now. Uh, how far left, how far right can they go? Not far. Let's put that there. And then they have room to be on here. But these don't have room to be on here. Oh, wait, you know, they have room to be there. Aha! Slowly but surely, we are getting it done. Slowly but surely. Can these go on top of the bed? No, damn it. <laughs> Just turn these around so they're all facing the bed, staring judgmentally at them. There we go. And then the teddy can go there. And this book is definitely going to go in the living room, isn't it? Um, somewhere. This diploma needs to go on the wall. There appear to be a... There's not a... <laughs> there's not a place for it. Oh, wait. I know where this goes. Ah, yes. There's no room for my diploma on the walls, so it has to go under the bed. This is one of those sort of little story moments where you realise, actually, this person's making a lot of sacrifice for this transition. You know? um, can this just live in here? Does this also have to go under the bed? No. No. Uh, where can this go, then? Can this go on the table, maybe? Oh no, that's the vinyl player. Yeah, that can go on the table, cool. So everything's fine in here now. So now if we go back to the bedroom, everything looks fine, everything's fine. Good, good. So the bathroom, okay, the smelly and the thingy. Oh yeah, the t-shirt. I have a spare t-shirt in the bathroom, don't I? Oh, curses. Um, yeah, good, I can go there. Uh, what don't you like about this? Oh, you like that there now? Okay, cool. What about the, this on here? Yes! Perfect! Okay, so let's take a look at this absolute horror show of a living room. Um, now let's take a quick, a quick family picture. 
There we go. And snap. Cheese. Uh, yes, lead photo mode. Lovely stuff. Absolutely lovely. Feels so serious moving into his place. There we go. Okay, so now we're back. We're back in the room. This is the childhood bedroom. Sad songs on the radio. Photography prize though, so you know we're doing well for ourselves. Uh, some belts, by the look of it, these look like martial arts belts. Yeah, these are definitely martial arts belts. Some more trophies, maybe some like uh, pottery. That's the word I'm looking for. And some sewing, some crafting. Oh, little um. Jeremy the cockroach. Jeremy the cockroach can go up here, get a good view of the room. So let's see, shall we? The bunk bed has been replaced with a bed and a desk. And it looks like this person no longer lives with the person we've just moved in with. D&D &D stuff, D&D &D stuff. Let's, uh, let's put some of the pictures up here. Oh, that's a bit telling, isn't it? A pin in the uh, in the old face in the photo. Still in, still uh, improving our fitness, I see, which is nice. Also very important, especially if you are suffering from any levels of depression. Which is way easier to say than to do. Uh, and I, I think it's a lot easier to say, like, don't forget to keep your fitness levels up when you are happy. But when you are sad, all you think to yourself is, oh, I fucking do one, mate. Because I, I think about that about myself as well. So, oh, I can turn the lava lamp on. That's amazing. Does it actually start going? It does. Um, yeah, so when I say stuff with the sticker there, uh, when I say stuff like that, I mean like if you find yourself in a bad spot, I'm stunned how much better I feel after just going for a walk or just getting some fresh air or some sunshine, getting sunshine in my eyes and on my face. I do, I do feel better for that. Um, and that's kind of why I'm doing it. We're all grown ups here. I'm not going to patronise you and say, oh, if you're feeling depressed, you're going you're gonna to cure it all with some heavy lifting exercises. You know, because you're probably not even bothered showering today or getting dressed properly or anything like that. So don't listen to people who sort of say that that works don't get me wrong that does work but don't immediately think you have to you know that's gonna that's gonna be the solving the thing that solves any sort of mental health issues because it's not i got to be serious didn't i the file of the ukulele we're better oh a picture his incense burner, brilliant. I'm glad we took that. <laughs> Our chick plushies. Oh, the uh, the hot water bottle that was from the thingy, the the thingy house, the shared house, and the the photo album as well. Yoga mat. I'm just going to the bed. Yoga mat's a little bit better anyway. Oh, pig's looking a bit worse for wear, isn't it? Let's be honest. Should we put it near the? thing near the, uh, near the uh, lava lamp give it a bit of uh, 
bit more uh, light than it's currently got. And the diploma, you should always have your diploma. If you've got a diploma, fucking flaunt it. Do, do this, do, hang it up. You know, you worked hard for that. Don't, don't, you know, let other people minimize it. Oh, so this is the family bathroom. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, yo, yo. What else we got? Some tapes. Oh, another poster. Pulling a dreidel again. Put a dreidel out. We've got a sticker for that. Can this not go in here? This is huge. Can it definitely not go in there? This can go under the bed where all filing belongs. Uh, let's have that out here. So let's make some let's make some room. I've got some statues to put up. I've got some pottery. I've got lots of books. Lots and lots of books. Some D and D books. God, my neighbor's kids are practicing wrestling with each other again. I hear. I, mean, I hear. I feel. <laughs> I can feel it through the door. Uh, through the door. Through the floor and the wall. Oh no, there's no... Oh, I don't have the room for that. Okay, so it's, well, I can go there and I can go there, right? And then we can see both of them. And the little uh, pottery horse can go behind. That's that's fair. And then I can go here. <laughs> the, the iPod will always and forever live under there. Um, the photo album, I'm going to put somewhere safe, uh, as well as my games, because that's important. My game's console is going to go on here. What's this? Oh, it's the it's a sewing tin. Of course it is. Everyone's got a sewing tin. Anyone who sews has a sewing tin. Like, that's one of those things you just have, right? Uh, can I move some stuff? Is that okay? Of course I can. It's our house. <laughs> this is our place. You should have this here. Remember your achievements. This is important. Remember your achievements. When when you thought, whenever you think you aren't able to do something, look at your achievements around you and go, no, I did something. It's okay. I have done, I am able to do stuff. I have done stuff. Uh, these books, will they fit up here? No, they will not. But that book can potentially... Oh wait, can this picture go on the windowsill? It can go on the windowsill. Fantastic. I can go there. This can go up here. Memories of long lost friendships. These... Can I just bin this? Like... <laughs> this was clearly his. And I just don't... I don't really want it... I guess, it, you know, little bits that you pick up out for, as you move through life, but everyone has those little souvenirs, don't they? Oh, that's a squishy noise. Let's get all the little chicks in a line. You're 100% going to go there. Lovely. And that can go over there. Okay, I think that's the bedroom done. Let's go and unpack what we've got in the bathroom. Uh, hairbrush. Toiletries, toiletries. How does this open? Good. Toiletries, toiletries. The mug. The infamous mug. Oh, it's raining so hard. What is that? Oh, it's... <laughs> It's pain patches. Of course it is, because we're going to be in our 20s slash 30s now, aren't we? <laughs> and you can move stuff, which is nice. I'm going to put that back here. Oh, I'm, I've got stuff in the way of the doors. This is a very turn of the century house design. Uh, yeah, the pain patches don't, won't go in there, will they? Yeah. They will go in there, though. And then the tampons and sandwich towels. Why don't they stack on each other? They definitely stack on each other. I know, I've done it. <laughs> hey, there we go. These can stack on each other. These can go in here. This can go there. Whoops. There. 
Oh, this is a this is a weird squeeze. Oh no. Oh no no no. Anyway, like that. Okay. That's fine. Now I can go here. <laughs> the cop. I love the cop. Well she's kept the cop for so long as well. Uh these can go here. And these can go in here. They don't have to go away. Don't get me wrong. They can just be out. Things like this are normally out in our house, so there's absolutely no shame in having like your nail clippers out or anything like that. Uh, where's the cup? There we go. Toothbrush, toothpaste. Bit smelly. Uh, oh, ah, there is a space there. Good. Put that there and put that there. Right, so what don't we like in the li in the bedroom? Oh, we don't like the, this on the thing. Oh, <laughs> we don't like the picture on here either. Okay, so the game is telling me that we don't like this picture up here. We don't want this picture up here, so this is going to go in the cupboard now. Uh, can I just have those out and put that away? Yes. Very much so, yes. Photo. Photo time. Oh, I like that one. Uh, frame. Polaroid. Yep. Excellent stuff. Leave photo mode. Let's go. I love how the sticker for returning home um, is a is a roast chicken, because that's always the sort of synonymous thing with going home is a home cooked meal, isn't it? <laughs> Two thousand and thirteen. Oh, so let's zoom out a bit. We've got a very small living room. We've got a smallish kitchen. Well, looks like an office space and a bedroom with a double bed. Oh, and a bathroom as well. Nice bath. Not bad. And what sounds like optimistic music. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So we've got a souvenir. Souvenir. Were our souvenirs out? Yeah, our souvenirs were out last time, weren't they? In the previous, uh, in the family home. Oh, wow, I've been to um, uh, Windmill Land. This is, this is definitely somebody just moving into their first place together. Not someone moving in with someone else because there's two there's two bean bags on the floor. I've said this a number of times on stream, but when we uh, first moved to a new house uh, a few years ago, we had to I can say borrow. <laughs> I'm say we used to borrow. We had to borrow. We asked, so we borrowed. I had to borrow some uh, bean bags from the office from work. <laughs> I was fortunate that they actually had beanbags in the office at work. Let's just hang that up. Um, but yeah, we borrowed beanbags. So for while we ordered a sofa, well, I didn't realise that sofas don't get built. You don't go into a sofa shop and then walk out with a sofa, right? As a as a grown up, I don't I don't know if I'm a grown up, but I'm old, right? <laughs> but as a as a grown up, you don't walk into a sofa shop and walk out with a sofa. You walk into a sofa shop and then three months later you get a sofa delivered once you've forgotten what it looked like <laughs> essentially it's the mind-boggling thing that i could never get my head around um but yeah in the three months <laughs> uh in that three months we um uh we we just sat on beanbags for <laughs> ages Only get finished from second hand store. Yeah, that's fair. That's that's totally, totally fair. Um and that was our experience for, for the longest, longest time. That was our experience. These are like DVDs. These are like lethal weapon DVDs. <laughs> action movie, action movie, horror movie, DVD player. 100 percent going in there. Um And I can I totally get it, to be honest with you. Nothing worse than getting furniture on furniture store. Yeah, I mean the the whole process didn't. Well, I said the whole process didn't seem that bad. It was just it was just a chore because like we fought, we fell in love with something and then they didn't have what we fell in love with and then we're like oh okay, cool. 
what have you got? Well, we've got this. And it's not like we settled, we waited. But one of the things that was that happened when we were waiting was we had no sofa. So we basically, um, yeah, sat on being back for three months. Which was as comfortable as you would imagine. Uh, it didn't do my back any good at all. Personally, I just can't afford slash find it valuable to pay thousands of pounds for a chair called Bjorn. Our, uh, so our sofa is expensive. Like we, we got a, a two-seater sofa, um, which is a wide fit two-seater sofa. So it's, but you can fit three people on it, but it's only got two cushions and what's known as a cuddler, which is basically, if a, if a child sits in a big armchair, they look like they're a child sat in a big armchair. I'm six or four and nearly 300 pounds, right? I'm a giant, all right? I got, my hands are the size of normal people's frying pans, but uh, I sit in this cuddle and I look like I'm a child in a, in a giant chair, basically. It's an oversized chair for someone my size. I just, oh, wow, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, it was expensive. And like, we sometimes freak out a little bit, like when the cats scratch it or when we get a stain on it or something like that. And I'm like, but it's not, you know, we realize it's not an art piece. You know, it's not, it is It is valuable, don't get me wrong, but it's not an art piece, it's, it's meant to be used. Oh, she paid a model, finally. Um, yeah, it's meant to be used and loved and enjoyed and experienced, you know, so it's, it's okay if it gets a little rough around the edges. God knows we do during life. I'm stacking these books for some reason. I don't know why. That's actually how my DD books are stacked. I've just realized that. I stack mine rather than put them in the thingy. You can always put a blanket over. This is very true. We've got a good selection of blankets now. We do have a good blanket selection. In oh, I don't have my old man blanket on the back of my chair anymore. Oh, that's because it was screwing up my green screen. That's why. Whoa, excuse me. The photo album. Uh, Bin? No, it's an umbrella stand. Got it. Oh, an umbrella and a cane stand as well. Presumably one of them has a disability. Uh, why can I not put the lamp on on the thing? Oh, no, I can. That's a good way of knowing uh, whether or not... <laughs> blanky or blanky. Hmm, I think blanky. Uh, I don't know. I, I knew what you meant. The second you said it, I knew what you meant. <laughs> I'm just gonna put all these on here. Oh, I've got an adorable another egg. These are reminded of um is it Sheldon from uh, Garfield cartoons? Right, let's put some of these away. D, &D books at the bottom, because those things are heavy. And I want to make sure this does not shift. There's something wonderful. I'll tell you what was good. When we moved, so we, we had a big three-story house. Because <laughs> I was drawing a blankie. Ah, I like what you did there. Um, we moved from a big three-story house. We moved to Nottingham um, into a big, tall house. And we basically filled it with stuff. That, it's not that we didn't need, but we just filled it with stuff. Because that's what you do, right? That's what you do in life. You just fill that space. Um, I think that might be a DVD. And eventually... Uh, we had to move because our landlord sold the house um, so we had to move and the the thought of moving ah, sickened me it really did it, I, I didn't know how we were going to do it I didn't know how we were going to do it any of it but the ability to downsize and just go through all of your old stuff and just see what you oh they're hitting on okay uh, see what you wanted, see what you didn't want, that sort of thing. Just so lovely. I genuinely, genuinely recommend it. You know, if you've never been through that box in the attic or something like that, just go through it. It's absolutely fine. Just go through it. Just keep what you want, chuck what you don't, and donate, that sort of thing. Don't just chuck stuff away, obviously. Like, donate if you can. Um, I hate the idea of landfilling stuff, I must admit. I love, I much prefer the idea of stuff going to a charity shop. I don't even mind about not not selling things. Like I don't mind not selling stuff um, if it means that someone else can use it. Because like we've we've bought stuff from charity shops. We've bought you know ten pound tables that have fallen apart, or like two pound tables that have fallen apart. Um, but we've needed them at the time. 
So I guess it's just a case of if someone else needs them, then I don't know. Right, where are these souvenirs going? Let's let's have the souvenirs on top actually for now. Because they're a good they're a good ornament. That one, that one's definitely a good ornament. I like that one. I'm surprised I can't touch it and it spins. Um yeah, good good ornaments. I like those. We'll have that. Does that not go any closer? No, apparently it does not. Uh, we'll have those there. And we're going to have those there for now. And then we're going to have our D&D figure and our D20 there. Our plushies are all going to go in the bedroom. They're, that's bedroom fodder, if ever I heard one. If ever I saw it, this can probably go here. They can go there for now. And these can go on here because they look cool. Right, bathroom. I guess, I mean, you do, right? I just don't remember us packing toilet roll. I remember us just buying a new lot of toilet roll. But I guess we packed our, um, we had, the, like, the leftover bag, the leftover box, right? You have, well, every room you finish, every room you empty, when you're moving out, you have a leftover box, right? You have just the stuff you couldn't, you either needed it in that room at that moment in time, or you, um, uh, just have a lot of stuff left over so yeah that was that was a lot of stuff that we had uh, just floating around from like the kitchen toothbrush toothpaste we're gonna have the brush in here and the razor and the perfume actually the perfume's gonna be out because it looks nice the hair straighteners are gonna go in the one below the tampons and the what is that? Pills of some sort. I'm not sure which. Uh, I'm gonna go there. The plasters. Oh, the plasters in the first aid stuff can probably go in a drawer. Plasters, medicine. That could probably go there. That could probably go there. Does this not go on anything? Nope. These can probably go underneath. I guess this first aid bag is looking a bit worse for wear as well, isn't it? Um, this bin could probably go here. I say probably because I'm not 100% certain in this house. Uh, oh, good old vitamin D. I like that. I should definitely try and get some more vitamin D. I am horrifically deficient in vitamin D. Uh, Lufa. Ooh, that can go there. Does that go anywhere else? No, that's the only place that goes. Fantastic. That can go on top of the toilet because that's just a normal place to put it. That's fine. Everyone poops. Everyone's poop stinks. So let's all just be comfortable with that. Uh, hand wash and... Oh, sandwich towels. Um, oh, where can these go? Is this a bigger drawer at the bottom? No, it's not. Tell you what, let's do the unthinkable and stack our toilet papers there. These don't go on top of anything, do they? No, not quite. They don't go on top of anything. These, oops, these can't go on top of anything. No. Okie dokie, that's fair. Lovely. So that's the bathroom done, I think, pretty much. Their bedroom hangers. Let's just stick these in the in the closet now while we're doing it. Hangers, hangers, lovely mishmash of hangers. Love it. Shoes, 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 t-shirts, hangers. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can do this a bit easier. Shoes, or bag, t-shirt, uh, pants. Is that pants or socks? One of the two. Pants and socks, pants and socks. Legs. Uh, pants and socks. Oh, pyjamas. 
<laughs> I just took my pyjamas under the pillow. That's also something that I've done in the past as well. Actually, I think I might have done that this morning, to be honest with you. <laughs> rainbow socks. Beautiful. Got me a bit of rainbow socks. Socks and pants. Socks and pants. Oh, a book. Uh, socks and pants. Oh, uh, is that pyjamas, do you reckon? Yeah, it's pyjamas. We don't want two pairs of pyjamas in there. No. <laughs> Hangers. Hangers. May as well hang that skirt up now, to be honest with you. Oh, cra uh, sewing, crafting. Socks, uh, socks, uh, skirts, and legs, a uh, cardigan, so... Oops. Oops. Get on the end of the bed. There we go. Uh, another hanger. Uh, shoe. Uh, blouse. Put my blouses. Uh, another shoe. Oh, thank God. I've got some more room. Oh, the alarm clock. Ah, the iPod. That's what was going to go under there, wasn't it? The family portrait. What is this? Oh, it's a, it's a tea light. Got it. Wait, how far zoom in? I can, I can zoom in really far. Wow. Oh, I see. Wow. A few more tea lights, a bra, and other bra. Um, banger. A dress. Ah, the yoga mat. Another hanger. Another bra. Can you hang the bras up? No. <laughs> it's a curious question. I just wondered. Shirt. Uh, teddy bear. Stitched teddy bear. Good. Another hanger. Oh, there's no space for hangers. There we go. Ooh, a blazer hoodie. More hangers. Uh, something that's go on hangers. That pink item looks like I had a nightmare to hang that. An absolute travesty to hang. Nope, grab the hanger, not the thing, not the clothes. Hanger, not the clothes, hanger, not the clothes. There we go. Kapow! And the cardigan and the blouses can get hung up. And I've got... Is this a skirt? It is a skirt. That'll do. So we've also got some pyjamas. And another trousers. And as well t-shirts. Excellent. And I think we also have drawers here. Oh, fantastic. I've got the... Uh, Hobbycraft special. The Hobbycraft My First House special drawer selection. Bras. <laughs> It's like, oops, oops, come on, just, okay, place that there, lovely, uh, this is not going to work here, there we go, pants, 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 ooh, four, we can go four deep in pants, there's a sentence you ever thought, uh, you'd hear me say? All the socks and pants put together. Fantastic. Uh, now, shoes. Sort your goddamn shoes out. Oh no, these are the wrong way around. Curses. There we go. Lovely. The bag can go down there. Your iPod can go in here. What's under here? Oh, uh, no, I'll tell you what. Let's put your iPod... Let's embrace tradition. Put your iPod under your pillow. I can probably go in there. Oops. Excellent stuff. Right. So we've got some spare stuff in here. We've got a notebook and also some crafting stuff. So let's just go back in here and let's just stack this notebook. And then we can stack these other notebooks next to it. And also these games next to that. There we go. So now the kitchen, which I think has the most boxes in. Uh, a slow cooker. 
some spoons. Uh, knives. Well, it's knives. Then forks. Then oh, then jug. Then juggy bowly. Jug bowl coffee. I see that our uh, previous relationship got us hooked on coffee. Um, that's a cool thing. <laughs> there we go. Cafetiere. Got us hooked on good coffee as well. None of that rubbish. Oh, no spoons. Oh, turn those around. Uh, they were like the wrong spoons. There we are. Some good coffee. A brush. Oh, it's a scrubby brush. Go ahead. Uh, coasters? Yeah, coasters. Oh, measuring spoons. Um, we can probably go in the next one down. Baking stuff can probably all stay together. Hopefully, anyway. That's sauce. I'm not sure where soy sauce is going. Flavorings can probably go up here. Um, that's something you always have. That's baking paper, so that's... Whoops. Well, well, yeah, actually, we'll put that in the top drawer. Uh, rolling pin. That's baking... Paraphernalia, uh, cookie cutters, also baking. Oh, oil, the flavor station. What is that? Oh, it's a mug. It's a mug. Sometimes a mug is just a mug. Are these almost matching mugs. This is unheard of. <laughs> oh, some sugar. Another mug. Flavor station. Flavor station. What is that? Is that honey? I'll probably keep that with the sugar, to be honest with you. Water bottle. Um, I can probably go up here. Flavor. Oops. Flavor. Kitchen timer. I only bought one of those myself. Like as a as a work timer. So I I knew I was working on something for long enough. Uh, one plus. Two equals me. Yeah, that's that box done. Ooh, pans, my favourite. Oh, bowls as well. Bowls. Well, I wonder if the bowls can. I only want them under there. And they could go under there, I suppose. But I quite like them on display, I'll be honest. Oh, that chipped, cracked biscuit barrel. Biscuit barrel, some better days. Is this rotatable? Yeah, if you rotate it so you can't get the crack, it's fine. Will be posh. We stole one of his dish towels. That was good. I like that. Koala. Heart. Uh, whiteboard. Oh, the ukulele. Um, oh, photos of friends. Good. Uh, star. And three. And equals. I think there's an achievement for doing something with those magnets, but I can't remember what it is. We're going to try, but genuinely can't remember what it is. Uh, another bowl. Oh, look at all this lovely matching crockery we've got. Oh, we have, we have landed on our feet, friends. We have landed on our feet. Oh, that's big and stuff. Put that in there. Uh, salt, flavor station, bowl, oh, kettle, um, well the kettle's going to go over there, but not right now, oh god, the microwave, the microwave, just go on top of there, set the microwave, there we go, <laughs> we've got into the sticker for that, brilliant, um, hand wash, uh, washing the liquid, Ooh, no, we don't like it like that, I don't like that, a sponge. Uh, spare sponges. Where can spare sponges go? Spare sponges could probably just go under the sink. Is that a water filter? Like, is that? Oh, is that a, a garbage disposal? That's fancy, isn't it? That's well fancy. Toast is going to go over here. Oh, it's um. I don't know what that's called. I honestly don't know what that's called. Uh, it's something to do with Jewish religion. Do not remember. I can stack that in there, which is brilliant. Okay, so the kitchen is mostly done. 
So let's just lift these plates up here. Let's lift these plates up here. Um, the cups are fine where they are, I think. What we're going to do is we're just going to move the slow cook up here. The sugar and honey are going to go near the kettle. The timer is going to stay where it is. The toast is going to fit snugly into there. The big pot's going to go on the hob. That's going to go there. And that's going to go on there. Excellent stuff. I think that's a lovely looking kitchen. To be honest with you. Oops. Oops. There we go. Okay. So now we've done that. Oh, it's the office space. Oh, the cactus. How cute. Oh, wait. Let's do the uh, magnets. What about the pictures of friends? Boop. Oh, the diploma. Naturally. And the lamp. Dreaded office. Oh, no, I can go in here. I can go in here now. We have space for it. No, not on top of the box. Art supplies. Art supplies. Art supplies. <laughs> Headphones. A book. Another book. Another book. Uh, well, a notebook, I should say. That book does not want to rotate the correct way. I say the correct way. The way I want to rotate it. Uh, a stand. A Newton's Cradle. Some storage. Some more storage. A wastebasket. What is that? Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, a rolly thing. A rolly thing. Oh my god. A uh, massage ball. There we go. I've got one of those in my um, massage gun kit. A normal book. Yeah. A notebook. Oops. An, oh no. There we go. Another notebook. A whale. It looks like an incense burner. Oh, another whale. I'm not sure what these are. These look like they should belong in the kitchen. No, idea. They look, they're made of thingy. They're made of ceramic, so I'm not sure what they are. Oh god, a printer. And a scanner? Yeah, printer and scanner. Uh, <laughs> brilliant. The box of cables. Wish my box of cables was that small. Some toner paper, toner paper, some printer paper, uh, the router, oh, a clock. Do I need to set this clock as well? No, it just, it's set. Good. Uh, laptop. Laptop does not go on the stand. The tablet does not go on the stand either. This book, this book. Let's move these books over here and let's move these notebooks over here as well. So as to make some more room. Oh, cool. Art supplies. More art supplies. <laughs> can I pin that up? I can pin that up. Brilliant. Can I pin this up too? So, cartoon artist, maybe? Uh, more notebooks. Or sketch pads, I suppose. That's still sort of thing. Lovely pictures. Well, we're going to have to make a bit of a gallery wall, aren't we? Just to... Uh, oh, the adventuring picture from last time. Oh, yeah. I know you're not going to be happy with any of that. Any of that, friend. <laughs> I wonder what this stands for. It's not for this. I don't think it's for this. No. How bizarre. Not very strange. Um... Is this a bathroom towel by any chance? Uh, maybe. It might be. It is a bathroom towel. Okay, cool. Okay, so there's something... In well, the kitchen's fine. But there's something else wrong with each, each different room. So let's make these books go up here. up here this stand i've no idea what goes on this stand but apparently it only goes here so who knows 
That can be our sacrificial uh, cactus, I guess. Uh, right, so a bit of a gallery wall, I think. Let's have that. And then let's have that. And then that. Let's put that one up a bit. And then let's have this one up here. Oh, love me a gallery wall. Oof. Absolutely love me a gallery wall. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, that. Uh, right, I think there's everything in here. I'm just going to tidy up a bit. Uh, those pens need turning around. And all of those. Oh, that's fine. That, that'll be fine there. There, there, let's get you that. And then those. Brilliant. Excellent stuff. Right, well, so the kitchen's fine. The study's fine. The living room's not fine. Oh, the plushies, of course. We've missed the plushies. The plushies need to go on the bed. Oh, this is, um, this, this goes in here, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah, that's fair. These all these plushies do indeed belong somewhere else. Um go here and go here. Oh no, I don't know what the study. I want the bedroom. There we go. Boom. Uh why is that in the wrong place? Oh, does that need to be away? Oh, it needs to be away. Okay. Um so now go back to the living room. Pick this up, go back to the bedroom, put it down, and then we pick up all of our little plushies, all of our little plushie chicks. And then we can, oh, no, don't open that. And then we can rearrange them afterwards. And finally, the photo album. So the photo album needs to go somewhere safe. So I'm just gonna put this there. Brilliant stuff. Now I, I can, I absolutely can just save that, but I wanna just rearrange these a little bit first. So that they are all together, basically. Ah, it's lovely. Okay, now I'm a bit of a fan of this. Uh, living room setup. So I'm going to take a quick sneaky picture of this. Let's do that. Let's do. God, what other. How many stickers are there? Oh my god. Oh, I think studio mode. <laughs> that was me clicking the wrong button. Let's do that. And then let's do. Let's do that one this time. Yeah. Beautiful. It looks a little bit like The Simpsons. A Phoenix sticker. Ah, I'll figure out where to get a couch from later. Yes, you will. <laughs> 2015. So many years. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've, this is a, someone is moving in with us now. Someone who loves plants. Oh, give us some nice sun. So how many have we got? We've got these, we've got a couple in the bathroom. We've got, we really sort of spaced out a bit, haven't we? Like we really sort of stretched out in the, uh, can I shut these? No. We're sort of stretched out in this space. Oh wow, upgraded all of our setup. That's cool. That's very cool. Um Can we gain anything? Oh, is this our is this our new person? This is a two people photo here. Let's just zoom in, zoom in. Enhance. How do how do I move camera? There we go. This looks like new friends, or new and old friends, actually. So this is like a new friend here, and this is like a new partner, a new romantic interest.
was it this one plus two equals love? No. There's <laughs> Godzilla attacking. There's something you do. You do something with the thingies, and I don't remember what. You do something with the um, the magnets. Okay, let's uh, start opening stuff up. My God! Oh wow, you've got an actual plate stand. You're a you're a proper grown up. Oh, can I not? Oh, it's a is it a dish stand? It's a dish stand. Okay, that's fair. I'm not a hundred percent sure where that's going to go now, but now we have to live with the choices we've made previously. <laughs> This is a bow steamer, which is just perfect. I gotta admit, we've got one of these in there. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, a rice cooker. It's more like the oriental food. More cups. More cups for the cup god. A grater. Oh, I don't want to put it under there. Let's put it under there. A, Z a lemon juicer. Mm, fancy. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of. Uh, what I assumed it may be soya sauce. I'm not sure. Uh, dish towels. Where did dish towels go? Dish towels went in there. More dish towels. Oh, there's no space for dish towels. Oh, there we go. I'll tell you what, now we've... Oh, no. I've taken the lid off the steamer. There we go. Now we've got matching dish towels. We can just hang them both there. I forgot you can hang them both there. More magnets. <laughs> be like poop movement there. Ah, the other one. will fit there. This will not fit anywhere, I don't think. Oh no, it'll fit there. Good. What looks like an ice cream scoop? Uh, I don't quite know what that is. It looks like a, just a dish, like a catch-all, you know, or like a potpourri dish or something. Let's maybe put that up here so it's on display. More flavour for the flavour station, like that. Pestle and mortar, uh, sunflower magnet. Right, so the pestle and mortar can also probably go away. I'm just not sure where. I hate the idea. Oh, I put it on a shelf. That's fine. They look good, pestle and mortars. So, um, no, I'm not sure where this rice cooker is going to go. If this goes there, can it go up on a shelf? Do you reckon? I reckon it can go up on a shelf. I reckon it'll be fine. Ooh, napkins. We're well fancy. Uh, what have we got in the living room then? We've got what looks like an, an ornament of some sort. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you have a ticket stub, maybe? Is this, can this go on a wall? It can go on a wall. Let's put that like there. Maybe. That looks important, so. This this also looks very important. Never, never be afraid to show off your achievements. Uh, a book. You can go with my books. Oh. Oh, you're a film buff. I get it now. That means you're going to have a lot of DVDs. Yes, you're a film buff. Lots of lots of uh, film books. Probably lots of films. Warren can. Let's put that there. Uh, spray bottle for plants. Ooh, lovely. Uh, it's not a terrarium. What is that one? Uh, that's something else. Let's move this. Over here, maybe? Yeah, let me put that, and then we can put that on there. And this is an incense. No, that's not an incense. That's a poster of Antihero Season 2. A signed poster of Antihero Season 2. Ooh, let's maybe put this in the study. Let me put that there. Lovely. Uh, oh, I can't put that underneath there. Okay. Uh, oh, cushions. Ooh. Let's see. Cushions and a big comfy throw. God, that looks comfy. Good lord, that throw looks comfy. Uh, umbrella. A lovely looking statue. I can just go there. It's on display. Um, where is this book going to go? Why is this book going to just... Sit on the floor right now. Actually, that can be a coffee table book. Uh, for exposure. What's this? Killer narwhals. Nuclear narwhals, I think it says. Uh, these, look like, these look like coasters for all intents and purposes. Yeah, these definitely look like coasters. 
So many Blu-rays. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a it's a head. It's a mask of some sort. <laughs> God, there is there is just something about unpacking things. Am I gonna have plants in a minute? Is this a thing? Oh, there's some, there's some compost here. Um, I'm not sure I want. I don't know if you keep plants and compost in here. This is more of a shed thing, right? Or like a garage thing. I'm not sure. Um, let's just pop these in here. They don't have to be perfect. Life is not perfect. Right, so that's those unpacked. I'm probably gonna... Ooh, nice plant. Probably a very humid loving, a humidity loving plant. Your toothbrush in there with mine. Ooh, lots of things. Lots of things in makeup. There we go. We can 100 percent make room for all this. Boop. Boop. Uh well, he says. Oh, have I made room? I've I think I've made room already. I think my my character has already made some room. Pop all of these up here. That looks like peanut butter. Genuinely, not gonna lie, it looks like peanut butter. Ah, they can stack. That's good. That can stay out, I guess. I can go there. Towel. Big towel. Uh, have we got any more hooks? No, but I do have a ginormous towel rack. <laughs> this towel stand. No less. Okay, so hang that from there. Pop that on there. Comb. Could the comb fit somewhere, or can we, should we just leave that out? I don't think there's a problem leaving that comb. I really don't think there's a problem leaving the comb out. Can this sit or live somewhere? Oh, back of the toilet, that'll do. Now, if that goes on there, then they can go on here. Look at me tidying up now and everything. <laughs> there we go. They can live back there. That lives there. That lives there. Lovely stuff. Right. So let's go into the bedrooms. Quite a lot of stuff in the bedroom. Uh, a lamp. Love it. Some, what I assume to be pyjamas. Maybe leggings. Oh, they have their own plushies. Oh, we deserve this person. <laughs> we definitely deserve this person. Uh, legs. Bra. Hanger. Let's make some room. Let's be nice. Uh, I need to move all of. Oh no. I need to move the hanger, not the clothes. The hanger, not the clothes. No, the hanger, not the clothes. God, this is such a lovely game to play. It really is. Stick our hangers up. Excellent. Can that hang? Yep, that can hang. <laughs> what is what is this? Is this like a leg pillow? Uh, pants and socks and bras. Pants and socks and bras. Pants and socks and bras. Can that hang? Yes, that can hang. I'm gonna try and put stuff away as I take it out now. Um, just for change, to be honest with you. No specific reasoning. <laughs> no, I didn't want any of those. No. Close that drawer. Open this drawer. No. No, open this drawer. Stop being weird, game. Oh, oh we have no more hangers. Curses. Uh, that's anti hero. Gonna guess that's what all the uh, DVDs were. Cute dresses. Really cute dresses. A walkie talkie? Maybe a movie prop, perhaps? 
feels like it might be a movie prop from an action movie. Curses. Ooh, fancy. Oops. Yep, yeah, no, I knew I, I I knew that. I was just testing game. Uh oh, headphones. Again, maybe a movie prop, I'm not sure. Those are some wicked looking headphones. What are these? These incense sticks. They look like incense sticks. That's an incense burner, so there's definitely incense sticks. So let's put those under here. Can we use these at all? I was always um, not disallowed, what's the word? I was always discouraged from using incense as a kid. And I was a goth as a teen, so I liked I liked burning incense. Um, but it was always, always a thing that like, oh, it would irritate my dad's nose and upset him and all this sort of stuff. So I just never, I never used to uh, use it. <laughs> I got I got a plant sticker for some reason. I'm not sure why. A bag, a tiny notebook and pen. Does this person have ADHD? <laughs> tiny tiny notebook and pen. Bam. Ooh, very cute clothes. I like this person. I have good fashion sense. Good, good fashion sense. Wow, those leggings. Pants. Socks. Yes. Brilliant. Yes, I'm aware. You're very not happy with some of my choices. I'm aware of this game. But there's not an awful lot I can do about this right now. Uh, do I have any more hangers? I don't have any more hangers. Okay. Do what I can with what I've got. Uh, leggings. Leggings. Please fit. Yes, leggings. That won't fit there, but that will fit there. They will fit under here. They will fit. Oh, lovely. They will fit under there. Good. <laughs> um, probably easier just to pop that under the bed and have all of our shoes in one place. Is that the other shoe to this one? It is, yeah. I was going to say, why does that shoe not want to seem to rotate? Yeah, it didn't seem to want to rotate. I like how this person's just... Oh, because there's a shoe in the way! I'm stupid. Uh, where's the other one of these? Oh, there it is. Where's the other one of these? Oh, there. <laughs> like, not only... I'm, I'm also tidying up my person's clothes as well. <laughs> like, that's what's currently happening. This does not feel very, um, what's the word, uh, efficient. Oh, there's loads of empty drawers. What am I doing? What am I doing? Maybe this is an affirmation journal. Can these go in here? No, no, they do not. They do not belong in a drawer. And they definitely don't belong on the bed. These, however, can 100% go, oops. Oh, as if that's in the way. Come on. Give it over. Oh, no, that's in the way. That's definitely in the way. There we go. Oh, dear. One day I will figure out how to play this game. Not today, though. That's another thing for today. And the bag can go, whoops, over here. No, bag can go over here. No, bag can go somewhere else, I guess. I suppose, back and go next to my bag? Yeah, back and go next to my bag. Brilliant stuff. So, walkie talkies. I don't know where to put the walkie talkies. Are these just, are these just props going in a drawer? Like these things? Yeah, I think these are just things. <laughs> I should go right in the middle of the bed. Cool. The study is fine. The kitchen, I think, is fine. It's the living room. There we go. Oh, so it's these, isn't it? It's the living room. No, let's put these on here then. And this is this is a book. I put that book there earlier. Like, 
There we go. Lovely stuff. So what really says... Oh, I guess the bedroom, isn't it? The bedroom really says it's a shared space now. So photos, frames, Polaroid. Let's go right a bit. And then down a smidge. And then... Oh, let's pick a nice filter. Oh, that was lovely. I like that one. Uh, yep, that's it. Leave, leave photo mode. Hey, oh, we got a little two people in a love sticker. So glad for all that wardrobe space now. <laughs> 2018! Wow. So we have a huge house now. So I'm just going to very quickly step away um, just because I need to go for a bio break. So I shall be back in a couple of minutes. So actually, I'm also going to take the opportunity to feed my cats as well. So please bear with me. I'm going to leave the music playing and I'm going to stick you on the animation. But if there's anyone in chat who, uh, if someone comes in and is like, oh, where's the streamer? You know where I am. So I'll be back in two minutes.
can all relax, the cats have been fed. We can all breathe a sigh of relief, the cats have been fed. There we go. The animals are satiated. This is fine. Hello, Jay, how are you? Ah, right, so we've got a house now. We've got a big house. Lots of stuff. And a garage we can't click on. And a second floor. Oh my god. Let's do downstairs first. All looks pretty bare. So, we clearly just... <laughs> pictures that I didn't have. I don't have any pictures of my cat. <laughs> Not eating, anyway. Um... Let's do the kitchen. I love doing the kitchen. I can't help doing the kitchen. So this is both our boxes now. This is both us and our person's boxes, which is really cool. We've got some detergent, some hand wash, a sponge. Just gonna go ugh, there, I guess. No, that's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. There we go. That's, that feels better. Spare sponges. Under the sink you go. A glass. Oh, flavour for the flavour station. We're going to have to find where the flavour station goes. Flavour station is probably going to be over here, to be honest with you. Beautiful pestle and mortar. That's one box done. Fantastic. Oh yeah, they have all the uh, they have all the magnets, don't they? Ah, there's us and our person. Let's, can I zoom? Can I move? There we go. Lovely stuff. Our friends. Some more magnets. Oh, look at that one. That one's adorable. <laughs> More glasses. Good evening, questionable results. How the devil are you tonight? It looks like we actually got matching, matching cups and glasses this time. Uh, nope, that's the cutlery drawer. No, that's that's not going in there. That's a social faux pas. Oh, a knickknack. Uh, we'll put that on the floor for now. Also a knickknack. Definitely doesn't belong in here. The rice cooker can definitely go under here. This glassware that's probably going to go on. Not like on display, but not not on display, if that makes sense. The baking stuff can all go in a lower drawer. That's how baking stuff should be. Baking stuff, baking stuff, baking stuff. Oh, a mug. An, a secondary weird collection of mugs. Uh, coffee. Coffee for the coffee god. Is that our... No, that's not our uh, thingy cup. That's not our... Um, what is it called? Uh, toothbrush cup. Oh, I picked something out of that. There we go. What's in here? Toilet roll. That doesn't belong in this room. That belongs in this room. No, let's not put it there. That's dumb. That's that's dumb, dumb. Super duper dumb. I uh, don't really want to put this under here, but I can put it under there. With the slow cooker. The frying pan. I guess. Oh, no, it doesn't fit in a drawer. Okay. Frying pan can go on the hob. Ah, our steamer. Our bow steamer, as I call it. Because that's all we use our steamer for, to be honest with you. Nope, nope. No, that's a wet tea towel. Greater. Um, let's pop that under here. We're going to have some tea towels in here. Can I stack three? I can stack three. Good. Lid to our steamer. Is this a poster or is this bin bags? This looks like bin bags. This is going to the bottom drawer. Oh, a bin. Brilliant. Beautiful plants. Um, I'm not sure where the plants are going to go. Um, guess there right now, I guess. Again, I'm not 100% sure what this is. I think this might be like a... I want to say like a serving dish, but I don't think it's a serving dish. That's just asking to get like dirt and crud caked on it. Uh, 
little timer. Oh, good. What are we drawing on the whiteboard this time? Happy pigs. <laughs> Why not? Beautiful. That's the whales again. I'm not sure what the whales are. Um, this is a whisk. Which can we go in here? This is big kitchen utensil energy right now. Oh, a flower. Look at this for the flavor station. Look at that. Whoa. It's exciting, isn't it? Now, it is all going to look a little cluttered. So I need to maybe sort some of this stuff out. Maybe the pans can go under here. Why does this music sound like to Zanakand from Final Fantasy X? Turn that up a bit so you can hear it. Hundred percent sounds like two Zanakin from Final Fantasy Ten. I knew they'd all fit together. Oh, and now it doesn't. Now it sounds like something completely different. But a second ago, it sounded like two Zanakin. Oh, that's a good song, two Zanakin. No, this can go in here. Is that one done? I don't think that whale needs to be in here. I gotta be honest. That whale definitely doesn't look like he's uh, enjoying his time here. I'm gonna have loads of little baking stuff on that I need to put away. Oh my god, I'm gonna go crazy. Plate, magnet. We never finished Final Fantasy X. It's a good game. You've got a special place in my heart. I was at um, college when I played Final Fantasy X. And I... Oh, no, what's the matter? Uh, me and a friend both took a week off to play it at the same time. And we compared notes uh, via text message. It was a good, it was a good time. Set the uh, microwave. I'm going to put these on the floor because I don't have space for them right now. Oh, no, don't do that. Do that. There we go. And I will find space for them in a moment Star. Uh, that's big, big kitchen cutlery. Oh god, there's so much big kitchen cutlery. Now it sounds a little bit like the Xbox Live classic fish listening to radio. Which I'm certain everyone has played. That was on the Xbox Live Arcade many, many years ago. Oh, I've blocked this drawer. Have I also put this drawer again? No. Um, uh, let's just take those out. Let's hang a couple of these on here. And then we just sort of put one of these in here, I guess. Big, big cutlery. Oops, no. Nope. And then bakey stuff. Good. More bakey stuff. I guess more bakey stuff? No. We do have a dish rack now. A sink, that can go here. I'm not 100% sure where that can go otherwise. Let's just. Can I turn it around at least? There we go. Oh, oven gloves. Oh, is there no. Ah, there's a hook. Excellent. Oh, can that be hooked up? No. Right. Another pan. Oh, I've blocked that with a steamer. Oh, no. Opened a drawer by accident. Stack the pan, don't. There we go. These are very clean. Like someone, someone clearly just replaces their uh, their pans when they get burned. Someone's clearly doing well for themselves. Uh, can this go in here? This can go in here. I mean, I uh, don't know if it should, but it can. Bowl and other bowl. Lock. That's ah, finally cutlery. Uh, knives, forks, spoons. Knives, spoons, little spoons. Oh, water bowl. Oh, other water bowl. Is that an anti hero? Of course, it's an anti hero water bowl. Flavor station stuff, because our person is a mad anti hero fan. 
Flavor station, flavor station, flavor station. Please don't have more flavor stuff. Forks. Lots of magnets. Lots and lots and lots of magnets. Can we put I heart you? say the flavor station was it, it is time to like a little bit packed I'm slightly concerned about the structural integrity of that cupboard so I can go there I can go north I can go back there I can go there uh, chopping board none of that belongs in here so that all needs a new home water bottles there we go that's starting to look all right now like there maybe yeah that's not look right oh yeah, yeah I, I don't i'm not the biggest fan of having that under there that's a chopping board um but i could have the rice cooker under there and the steamer under there which would make that look a lot cleaner and i could have that there oh that's good right so that's kitchen i'm happy with that well, the living room so a plant Oh yes, we're gonna have lots of uh, DVDs. Oh, the the photo album. That needs to be put somewhere very safe. Anyway, DVDs and Blu-rays as well. We've got two separate piles now. DVD, DVD, Blu-ray. Yep, yeah, Blu-ray, DVD. Uh, book. That's a book. That's that's one of those paper paper movies. Oh, game, game Boy. Game Boy Game. Another Game Boy Game. GameCube controller. A uh, legally distinct GameCube controller, I should say. GameCube uh, Game. What is that? That's a DVD. That's a Blu ray. That's a Blu ray. I need to move the Blu rays out of the way because I think there's going to be more of them. Oh, a board game. A DVD, not a Blu-ray. Oh, a kettle. Lovely. I did wonder where the kettle had gone, actually. Let's pop that out a second. We've got some coffee up there. That, that, and that. Lovely. Actually, we could probably move that there, and that, and there, and that, there. Excellent stuff. I mean, it's completely the wrong way around. There we go. Uh, and then we can have that under here. Why not? It. Oh, excellent. Some uh, art. Some beautiful art. Uh, does this not stand? No, it does stand. It just stands here. Now, remote. Uh, controller. Another controller. Can I turn this on? I can turn this on. <laughs> what are we playing now? We're playing Breath of the Wild. A familiar tale. <laughs> Ooh, lovely cushions. It's nice that we've kept the sofa, I must admit. Um, ornaments on top, or I think ornaments on top. Oh, that's the walking stick. Another Game Boy game, another ornament. The cushions. Uh, ah, there's the plant stuff, so that needs to go somewhere. Probably in here or the kitchen. Some lovely coasters. Another GameCube game. GameCube game. Oh, board game. Uh, is that a DVD? That looks like a DVD to me. Another DVD. Another DVD. Another coaster. Oh, GameCube game. God, I love doing this. Oh, is that a Wii game, actually? Did I just mistake that for a Wii? I think it's a Wii game, isn't it? Yeah, I think these are Wii games as well. And I, I want it to be in order. I don't want it to be incorrect. I want it to be the right. Thing. <laughs> yes. For exposure. Thank uh, you. Uh, Blu-ray. Oh, beautiful comforter. Another Blu-ray. 
And another Blu ray, definitely Jaws. And a coaster, fantastic. Right, now, I'm going to turn this off. Can I turn this on? Cannot turn the DVD on. So, we're going to have the controllers under the telly. Excellent. Because uh, there's not there's one with that. Uh, this actually goes by the front door, I believe. Um, and now, we're going to try and <laughs> move these over here so we can stack them a bit better. That book can go there for now. So we got Wii games. And I'm starting to think these should probably go in here as well. Um, yeah, we've got some Wii games. How much can I stack on top of each other in here? Can I stack as many as there are? Uh, well, it's not, that's not too far away, to be honest. All of those could could fit on there, and some Game Game Boy games. That's not too bad. Oh, oh no way I can stack those there. That's alright. Can't stack anything there though. I'm definitely can't stack anything on the top. Um, but now I can probably stack these. I mean, like pigs in this. I feel like I made a right mess of this already. Which year we were on? Uh, 2018 now? Yeah, it's 2018 now, Centuria. We've moved in with our person. Um, and we've now got on our own place with our person as well. Let's put that book there for a second. I feel like I, I want to rearrange these. I mean, I don't, I don't hate them, but I feel like I want to rearrange them. But maybe not my this. What goes here? Cat pictures. Oh, the ornaments, of course. Oh, the boots, the boot room. I like them. They went to other places as well. Oh, wow, loads of other places. Maybe that's a sign of, uh, is it the guy with the weights? It's not the guy with the weights, no. It appears to be a lady who's a big, big movie fan. Maybe that's a sign of, like, being a grown-up when your, uh, um, uh, your shoes don't just stay in your closet or your wardrobe. They actually stay in the hallway. Like, on a, on a, like, a shoe thing, you know? I don't know. When I get there, I'll let you all know. That's a towel. That's not living in there, is it? Um, let's put your boots on the floor, maybe. And let's put these over here. There we go. Now, this definitely is a bathroom towel, so let's just pop that in here. And actually, we'll do the bathroom now. Yep. Boots on the ground. Yep. Toilet flushes. Good. Uh, toothbrush. Toothbrush. Airbrush. Toothpaste. Some uh, uh, makeup. Oh, we're using. Oh, oh, okay. We're using your anti-hero cup. I see. An actual bath to lay in. Yeah. I've never found an actual bath to lay in in my life. And like I said, I'm a giant, so it's very unlikely I ever find baths to lay in unless they're like a jacuzzi. Yeah, I haven't laid down in a bath in like four years. I yeah. I think like. How old am I now? Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. I think. Yeah, 30, 38, I think. Am I 39? 2023. No, I'm 38. God, I'm so bad with my age. I'm 38. I haven't laid down, down in a bath without, like, my legs sticking out or my torso sticking out since I was probably 13. Yeah. Without it being, like, a swimming pool or something like that, you know? Oh, hello, Echo Alpha. How are you? Honey, I'm home. Oh, you've unpacked all of our belongings. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Echo Alpha. Thank you. Uh, oh, some makeup. Some more makeup. Lots of night creams. Deep bath's a solution. I'd love a deep bath. I really would. My See, my biggest fear is, obviously, the bathroom's on the second floor. My biggest fear is, like, that much water, if it's a deep, deep bath, that much water, and my heavy ass in it as well, am I, is it just going to go through the floor? Like, that's a, that's a real concern of mine. 
I've never had anything like that happen before. But still, you know, the fear is the fear is there. Lots of uh, shower gels. This music, right? This music sounds very similar to from Zanakund by Alan uh, Frankenstein. And I'm aware people may not have played it, but it does, trust me, it definitely does. Is that pegs? That looks like pegs. Below there. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's making me want to replay Final Fantasy X for some unknown reason. And I'm not even a, the biggest fan of Final Fantasy X. I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, the deep bath sizes are usually shorter, so the water volume is very efficient. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I think someone once suggested a one of those standing baths. I'm like, I'm not like 90. Like, <laughs> my brother had a rewindable, had a rewindable boat for a bathtub once. And once upon a time, I accidentally destroyed it as a kid. I still feel immensely guilty thinking about it. You can buy him a new one. That's what I would probably do. I'd definitely, uh, be like, so, do you remember that thing many, many years ago? Well, I still feel bad about it. So, here, have this. And now I no longer feel bad, so. Uh, bath scales. Bath scales can go there. That does not belong in this room. That belongs in a... There. In a there. That's where it belongs. Rubber ducky. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleep you there, to be honest with you. We'll play Placid Duck Simulator at another point. Uh, oh, I, didn't, I didn't realize my life was incomplete until I had a toilet roll holder. Shower mat. Lovely. I was afraid to tell that I destroyed it by rewinding it. Oh, I see, I see. I get it. We've really not um, sort of revolutionized toilet brushes, have we? Really? We kind of hit a peak with toilet brushes and we've sort of not, not done a lot else. Uh, this is soil. I'm not sure where that's going in the bathroom. Um, I mean, the bathroom's not a bad shout for it. Because uh, bathrooms are easy to clean, so or easy-ish to clean. Oh, I've opened too many things. Oh no! Oh, what have we done? oh dear! Oh, I can go there. Oh, that's the wrong way. Because there is a right way and a wrong way to hang toilet roll. Um, oh no! Oh, these are high ordered, aren't they? Can this go down here? Yep. Can this go down here? Nope. Lovely. There we go. Uh, razor. Uh, tampons. Uh, sandwich towels. What is that? Oh, well, washing detergent. Got it. While well, washing powder detergent. Hope you're all doing okay. Doing good, Echo Alpha. Thank you. It's been a weird week. It's been a weird couple of weeks, actually. This is like vitamins. Um, oh, there's a vi there's a the whole cupboard, isn't there? I keep forgetting about this. Um, yeah, it's been a weird week, to be honest with you. It's been a weird couple of weeks. My work has been uh, um, making people redundant, unfortunately. And I mean, I'm I'm fine, but it's it's always a hard it's a hard one. It's always a hard one to, to go through, especially when you've you know people who have who have you know come up with you through the ranks of the company and stuff like that, and then all of a sudden they're not going to be there anymore. And it's sad. It's, it's genuinely genuinely quite sad that I'm not going to get to see some of those people. But. It's one of those things that just it leaves you with a, a bit of a hollow feeling inside, you know? I'm out of um, towel space. That's unfortunate. Yeah, maybe it's the season. I don't know, but everyone's sort of everyone's sort of like that at the moment. I know the stre another streamer, um, Twisted Humanoid, who uh, is a, a lovely person. Genuinely lovely, lovely person. Um, who uh, recently is now deciding to do more about their uh, their streaming because they have been made redundant and it's just it's one of those things that you're just like oh I, I don't oh there's an entire laundry room I never even realised I thought it was a door to someone else um 
yeah, I wish him all the best in the world because it's it's a, a horrible position to be in. It genuinely is. So that over here, and that over here, and that over here. This is getting well wet though. I'm not putting that on there. Let's put that on there. There we go. Uh, oops. Uh, okay, let's just stack these here, shall we? That'll that'll do. Right. If this is like a storeroom, we can definitely put that in there. So that's, that's I would like to say, mostly done. So can these fit anywhere? Nope. Can these fit anywhere? Yeah. There's absolutely nothing wrong with having your hair straighteners out. Like 100%, nothing wrong with that. I'd quite like it to be a little bit, oh God, no. A little bit smarter with the uh, placement of stuff sometimes. There we go. Lovely. Excellent stuff. I like it. I like all of it. Okay, so. The walk-in closet. Oh my god. <laughs> How many times have we moved already? So we moved from mum and dad's house to the college dorm. So that's one. The college dorm to the shared house. That's two. The shared house to the douchebag's house. So that's three. The douchebag house back home. So that's four. Uh, the douchebag's house, oh, sorry, the, the family home into our own place, so that's five. We met someone, and now we're moving in together, so that's six. This is six times this person's moved, which is way, like, that's way more than me. I think I moved from Blackpool to Nottingham. I oh, know, that's not true. Um, got our first place together, moved into Cheryl's parents, moved into my parents, moved to Nottingham, Moved to the small house. And then moved to this house. Yeah. So six as well. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to surprise my wife when I tell her later. Do you know we've moved six times? <laughs> You've moved two. That's good. That's a good number, to be honest with you. That's a fair number. I'd, l I'd love to say all of them have been for good reasons, but some of them haven't. Some of them have been for rubbish reasons. Like when the landlord sold our house and we were like, but we live here. He's like, but it's my house. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, that's an heirloom of our people, that anti-hero hat. That can stay as a thingy there. Adorable dress that's not going to fit on that hanger. There we go. Uh, more hangers. I'm going to hang all the dresses below. That can hang there. That's also an heirloom. <laughs> do, 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 do. do you know what I had a, a hankering to play recently? The Sims. Like the original Sims. I don't know what it was. It's also... Uh, side note on that it's really hard to find it like it's impossible to find the sims at the minute uh because it's just not it's not for sale anywhere that i can see anyway um but yeah i had a real a real desire to replay the original sims and just make a house and just sort of like live a live a life with a job and everything like that in it and just just stream it for a bit but yeah it's one of those weird Sort of um, curious moments where I'm just like, why do I suddenly want to play The Sims? Uh, childhood home to apartment complex downtown to grandmother's house, owned by my now brother, owned now by my brother, and restored flat, one floor under. Oh, nice. Okay, if I could do moving in again, I would give us more time to do more DIY before moving in. So we're still, we're three years in and we're still doing stuff. Um, but that's because we can live with stuff, right? It's not like massive stuff, but I'd want to, you know, replace, maybe like replace the floor and maybe replace some bits and pieces and sort of do, do, do big things that we, we can't do when we're in the house very easily anyway. Um, so yeah, do, do that sort of stuff quite, uh, quite effortlessly. I'd definitely give myself more time. Give us more time to do that. Oh, can I not? Does that not fit in there anymore? Oh, okay. I'll just fit it in there then. Lots of hangers. All matching hangers. Well, I really like the matching hangers vibe. And 
and suitcases as well. Because obviously you all travelled, you've been to all these places, haven't you? Um, this is not going to fit there, but it is going to fit here. This is this is the sort of wardrobe I'd like my wife to have, to be honest. This is a very nice... That's pyjamas, that doesn't hang up. And he's falling. Okay. It's one thing we do sometimes hurt for is, uh, is closet space. We were thinking of getting... Um, uh, not walking wardrobe, what's it called? Uh, fitted wardrobes. That pyjamas as well, do you reckon? Oh, it's not pyjamas as well, do Oh, that doesn't fit. Curses. Err. What about now? Does it fit now? It fits now. Good. Uh, 1 to age 5, then at 23 to Deventer, then at 25 back to my parents after a breakup, then at 26 to my own place in to Armsfort, and back to Ponce 28, now at 32 back to Denver. Wow, that, that is a lot. So yeah, 6, yeah. <laughs> this is the sixth, sixth move club. Don't worry, Echo, you'll get there. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it's, it's not like it's something you have to do. But it just, it's just—it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I never realised I've moved that many times. Because um, obviously counting the moves in this game, I thought to myself, wow, that's a lot of moves. Oh, God, I couldn't be able to do that. But actually, I have. So, that's weird. Uh, I'm going to put it on the floor a second until we find the matching pair. Bless my hands for letting me back in. <laughs> yeah, that was something that I never I never really got. Um, people sort of... Not living with their parents, because I lived with my parents for a long time, but after my mum passed away, like, yeah, it wasn't really living at my parents anymore. It was looking after my disabled dad. So, they're kind of... I don't know, took the took the shine off it, if that makes sense. I'm not not needing to pay rent as a godsend. But having to sort of do all of the housey stuff. Like look after the house at like age twelve was not probably not the best for my development. Uh, let's put some t-shirts over here. And then put them there and put them there. Oh, more perfume. Yeah, it wasn't great. It was obviously I didn't know any better. I until therapy, I didn't know any better anyway. Um, but it definitely wasn't the most luxurious uh, time of my life. Uh, where can we put this? Where can we put this? Let's put this here. I can't click on it. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> can't open the safe. Uh, more leggings. Excellent. More athleisure wear. Lovely stuff. Now this definitely isn't going in here, so I'm gonna guess. Oh, they have babies room. Um, oh my God, we've got so many rooms to do. This is amazing. You want clothing that also fills? I want clothing that also fills as well. You are not the only one, friend. Oh. That would be a godsend. It's one of the, like I've got no problem doing laundry, washing, etc. I've just I just don't like putting clothes away. Like that's just a chore, you know. I think one of my main problems with it is I know I always feel like I have too many clothes and not enough space. Oh we're gonna do a do we need to do a gallery wall again? We might need to do a gallery wall. We definitely need to do a gallery wall. Look at that horse. What a majestic horse. A pen. A notepad another tea light put those there oh look at all these pictures look at my horse look at my horse sleeping headphones uh the walkie talkies right your walkie talkies can go in the closet with your anti-hero stuff okay um your what else was gonna go in the closet just then your bag, maybe? I don't think your bag needs to go in the closet. Your bag can just sort of sit there a second. Uh, plushies, plushies, plushy chicks, plushy chicks, plushy chicks, plushy chicks. Oh, the yeah, anti-hero stuff. Um, I, I guess it can go there. I don't like that it's gone there. I think I can probably move that and then move that and then move that and then do that. There we go. That's better. That feels a little better. Hot water. Lovely. Lovely sloshy hot water bottle. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the partner's lamp, but I don't think we're counting. Oh, they do yoga together. How adorable. Bags. Oh, this will go in the sewing space of this room, won't it? Check. Check. Oh, a radio. Well, a Bluetooth speaker, I should say. That probably doesn't live in here. I probably want that in the... Let's put it in the kitchen. Everyone likes a bit of music in the kitchen, right? That's a thing. Everyone likes a bit of music in the kitchen. Can I hang it up? Oh, but it's got a hook. It, le it legitimately has a hook. There. Can I put that? Yes. Look at our house. Our house is amazing. Our house is so posh. Oh, there's all, all, also another one there. Oh no, I've run out of space. There, but they're there, but they're there. You've got the same oven glove, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's fine there, that can go underneath, right? Yeah. Ha, another book. Let's go back to the living room, which is downstairs. Living room. Pop this notebook here. Speaking of horses, another expansion pack has been released on the in six days with The Sims 4. Horses and ranches. Speaking of The Sims, <laughs> uh, bedroom. That's what I want. Uh, yep, the plushie can go there. The incense can go here, and they can go. They can go my side. You know what? That's fine. Do a little affirmation journal. That's all good. The stream is in Simlish mood. Then maybe this is what uh, maybe this is what I was thinking of playing when I thought of playing the original Sims. This music, man. Proper little family of chicks right here. Okay, let's pop this in the. Um, is this the study? Nope. This is not the workspace. Let's pop this in the workspace. Now let's go back upstairs. And let's do a nice little gallery wall. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely stuff. That's a really nice gallery wall. Huh? The crib. I don't want to plan on the change table. Baby book. Oh, we have um, actual baby uh, shelving, don't we? Uh, nightlight. <laughs> the teddy bear. The teddy bear that has been with us for a very long time. Did it always have the yellow sash? What was the yellow sash from? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know we got an achievement for that. I'm putting them together. You're not at this phase I am right now. That's, that's true. It's me either. I'd love to be there. I could genuinely would love to be there. Is that a dish towel? That looks like a dish towel. I don't think that belongs in this room. Blocks, 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 blocks. Pacifier. More blocks. More blocks. More blocks. Uh, a teething ring? Yes, a teething ring. A rattle, which we can actually shake, which is very satisfying. Surprisingly satisfying, in fact. And a baby bag. That's what that is. Uh, I'm sort of at this phase. I got so many collectibles. I'm still trying to find space for. Already put put up some put up so much everywhere in the living room, including the TV series and the films. Uh, I'd be the kind of person that would be playing with the blocks myself. <laughs> Bit of creme. Uh, wipes. Nappies. Another towel. Maybe these aren't dish towels. I got picks too if you want to see. Yeah, go for it. Do you want to whack it in Discord? I'm always curious to see people's, uh, see people's, um, abodes. 
Your space should be something you're proud of. Your space should be something you're proud of. I need to take some decent pictures of this space as well, actually. Because I finally, I finally got it looking better now. All of the, well, I say all of, some of the um, uh, panels started to fall down in the extreme heat because the things started to melt. So, oh, that's another plushie. Um, the sticky on the back of them started to melt. So I've now taken them. Fun fact, and I know you don't, this might not be fun fact for you, but um, if you are putting foam panels up on a foam plush the toilet bowl, it is proper adorable. I'm slightly sad it doesn't do anything when I click on it. <laughs> I'm going to be able to make an actual tower out of these blocks in a second. Um, yeah, if you're hanging uh, foam panels up, which are puppets there, then you can. If they don't have anything on the back of them, so you're basically sticking foam to a uh, wall, painted wall. What you can do is you can glue using fabric glue some cardboard to the back of them. Um, so you basically glue car. Oh, excellent office in there. Uh, you basically glue cardboard to the back of the um, thing, the back of the uh, fabric foam panel, and then you glue the cardboard or you stick the cardboard using commander strips to the actual wall itself, which is what I've had to do. So, slightly laborious, but definitely uh, worth it because now um, it's not going to fall off, or it shouldn't fall off anyway. It's not nearly as cute as my, um, my my mirror plushie. I'll show you that near the end of the stream. This did not fit in there. I can go there. Can I spell something out with this? I got a D, an E, a D, a B, a B, a C. Do I have a Y? I thought there was a, a thingy, uh, an achievement for spelling something out with E's as well. A, B, C, D, E. There's no F's, is there? No. Nothing to yes. No. Okay, to the toilet. Oh wow, this is a super small space. Good job we only have loads of stuff. <laughs> Bit of potpourri, lovely. Bit of potpourri in the toilet. Oh, this is an ensuite, isn't it? We've already done the bathroom. Let's have a good look. Fancy. This is the this is the other bathroom. This is the downstairs bathroom. Excellent. That's all you need in there. Bosh. Done. Pop that under there, maybe. If we can. No, we cannot. It stays there. The workspace. Oh, ribbons. Again, always important to celebrate your achievements. Some post-it notes. Oh, art supplies. I wonder if we're a, a proper artist. Uh, I still get complaints we only have one bathroom in the toilet. <laughs> That's okay, so do I. Oh, look, a standing desk. Oh, I got one of those. Not that I ever truly use it as a standing desk. I've, I've, I've stopped standing. I've given it up. No, I'm joking. I do exist from the waist down. Book, book, book. Oh, some storage. Uh, book, uh, book. Waste basket. Oh, another book. <laughs> so many books. What is this, a library? Oh, this can go in the cupboard of doom. Look at that. Bosh, bosh. Lovely bit of plantage. Oh, clock. Oh, the D&D &D dice. Oh. These. Oh, the D&D &D figure. Fantastic. Stick that there. Uh, kids box. Oh, oh, this person sold a kid's book. Got it. They made a kid's book. This is the character, isn't it? This is the character that they were drawing. These are the two characters that are in this. 
So this person created a, a kid's book. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Echo. I will have a look closer to the end of the stream. So in about half an hour. Wow, I wonder if this is what it's like when you actually write a book. You just get tons of them yourself. I hope not. I haven't got space for A massage ball. El massaggio ball. Oh, look. The whole, the review write-up of the book. That's really nice. Ah, uh, you can tell we're not in the 90s anymore. No one's using a mouse pad anymore. No one uses mouse pads anymore. Um, yeah, put you there. What is this? Oh, print paper. You can definitely go in here. It's another notebook. Uh, another sketch. Another notebook. Oh no, I don't have any space for notebooks anymore. Curses. <laughs> the bag, the box of wires. Like I said earlier, which I only had one box of wires. Sadly. Oh no, you do have a tower. Okay, cool. Let's just turn that on. Can I turn this on? Oh, as if I can't turn it on. That's unfortunate. The one time we can't turn something on. The diploma. I would, I would 100% be displaying my diploma all the time if I had one. That'd be insufferable. Utterly, utterly insufferable. Desktop on floor or desk? That's the question. Well, I've gone against the grey. Mine's on the wall. <laughs> I'm an official member of the wall gang. Um, I think with this one specifically, can we put it on the desk? We can. It's supposed to go on the desk. It's supposed to go on the desk. That's where it's supposed to live. Brilliant. Right, you can go that side then. <laughs> Legitimately supposed to go on the desk. Look at this, the picture glued to the screen. That's adorable. <laughs> the little picture of them together. <laughs> Oh, excellent. And that's on as well. So they're connected to the... Oh, look at that. That's, that's awesome. That's amazing. Let's put the plan up here. Let's put the laptop. Tell you what, the laptop is going to go over here. It doesn't feel like the laptop is in use at the minute. Oh, the ukulele. Have we got a stand for it still? Yes, we do. Uh, desk for me, but I've got two desktop desks, one motorized for gaming, one non motorized for the office. Yep, that's fair enough. <laughs> you had no idea. Oh, no, neither did I. Um, I'm also used to having it on the floor, but my new one is see through with RGB. So uh, that's understandable. If it looks good, like if you've got a good looking PC, then you deserve to show it off a little bit. You know? No one's gonna, no one's gonna hold that actually. More art supplies. More art supplies. The lava lamp. More storage. Those are old notebooks anyway, so that's not too bad. Ooh, what is, where does, what goes, what goes on here? What is this? I don't understand. I don't understand where it lives. I don't understand where it can live. <laughs> um. I wonder if this goes here and this goes here. I wonder. He wonders. Okay, let's do the dining area. Oh, this is the ticket store. Oh, all the D&D books. Uh, let's pop that one. Oh, that one's not going to fit anywhere other than on top of so it. Put that on top, by the place. Like a little succulent over here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful picture of family. Uh, the other person's laptop. Our person's laptop. That looks like an art book from, oh, what's it called? Uh, Rain? Is it Rain? I think it's, it's called Rain. Or... It's a game where it basically plays a, a white ferret, essentially. It sounds crazy, I know, but it's a really good game. It's very cute, too. A book on spiders? Oh, no. It looks like a book on robots. You need to add a splitter, though. 
Um, so you need PCs cooler RGB colors. Well, that's fair. Hopefully, this. Oh no, this is the dining area, isn't it? It's gonna have salt and pepper on the actual dining table. Ooh, and a fancy bowl. Oh, that's definitely a scanner. That's a hundred percent going somewhere. I don't know where, but it's hundred percent going somewhere. Um, it, it's unfortunate that I can't put that on top of anything. Um, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Let's maybe leave that there for now. I'm not a hundred percent sure. That doesn't go on that. I know that much. That doesn't go on that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that can go behind that, though. That's all right. That'll do. Uh, and other book. <laughs> Baby books. Uh, how do you stand books? There we go. Coasters. Oh, that's all the coasters we've got. Oh, excellent. We've got. I don't. I can't remember what this is called. I know it's called a thing, but I don't know what the thing is. Oh, poster. Anti-hero poster. That's a hundred percent going in here. What well, bam. Pride of place. <laughs> More books. Oh, place mats. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna have to just go on there for a minute. <laughs> oh, as if I can't put anything on the place mats. Do as well, don't I? I have four placements. Do they at least go on top of each other? They do go on top of each other. That's good. Good, good, good. Uh, let's put that there. Let's put that there. That was like a nice ornament as well. Uh, it's not exactly where I want that. Let's have that there. One, two, three. Oh, man. Four. Lovely. And then some coasters. Oh, there we are. Oh, a toaster. Where's the kitchen? Mm, no, I'm not massively keen on that toaster. So you don't like this laptop being in here. That's fair enough, because it doesn't live in here. <laughs> Can it live on top of... Oh, actually, where's the living room? Your laptop's normally in the living room, isn't it? There we go. The... Oh, okay. Let's maybe put that stuff on there. What's wrong with the remote on the sofa? Gotta run again. Have a good rest of the stream. Thanks so much, Centurio. I appreciate that. Uh, is there anything wrong in here? No? Good. Is there anything wrong in here? Yes. The laundry basket. Okay. Uh, I mean, it doesn't fit in there. It is a laundry basket, though, so... Oh, no, it does go there. How weird. How very weird. Uh, these need to go in a thing. Okay. Well, what if they just go... Here. That's better, right? That's good. Uh, everything happy here? Everything's happy here? Everything happy here? No, the bin is in the wrong place. Oops. The toilet? No, that's fine. Uh, the workspace. There's something wrong with the workspace. What's wrong with the workspace? What's glowing? Oh, it's the eraser. Okay. Is that it for that? I think that's everything. Oh, no, the kitchen, of course. Oh! The steamer doesn't go in here. Okay, that's that's fair. <laughs> and the plant doesn't go in here. Uh, oh, the plant goes on the windowsill. I didn't realize there was a windowsill. Can that go in the sink then? If it can't go on the side of the sink? Yes. Oh, of course, I've got all these here. Man. This bric-a-brac. There we go. So if we just move these. There we go. There we go. Let's move that. This is probably going to go in the... Dirty space. Uh, kitchen. Where's the kitchen again? Kitchen? Kitchen, kitchen. This is in the bathroom. Uh, let's, yeah, let's put that there. 
And then this is going to be... Oh, that's the living room. That's the wrong space. Well, this is going to be in the hallway, which I can't find. There it is. Oh, bam. There we go. I think this this looks like a proper home hallway. So I'm going to take a photo of this bit. Because there's always... I love these stickers that we've got now. These are amazing. Um, I really like these. I like these. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, like quite a nice, peaceful one. If that makes sense. That one's nice. I like that one. Must be a sepia. Oops. There we go. Yeah, that was like a nice, like a proper, like when you come home, that's a hallway entrance, isn't it? You know? Oh, that's lovely. That's it, we've got a little house sticker. Our new home. Unpacking, developed by Witchbeam. The moving truck pulls up, oh, the there's song. a knock on the door. Now all your stuff is here, in boxes on the floor. You open up a box, there is so much to do. I open up my heart, this is now a home for two. Oh, this game. Oh, I love this game so much. Do you know, I forget how much I love this game until I play it again. And then I realise, I realise just how, how good this is. Like, just how much it, may, it reminds me of turning a, a simple house into a home, just with little touches. Like, it just is so nice. It's just such a nice game, such a nice story, even though it's never it's physically said to you. You can piece it together with what you're doing. Like, oh, just... They've really knocked it out of the park, which being... I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed with it. 
This won a BAFTA as well. I'm so pleased that this won an award for its story. And it's just such a nice experience as well. And I get to do organisational puzzles. I love that sort of thing. I love it. So, I'm going to do a quick outro for YouTube. And then we're going to call it a day. It's, lo it's lovely environmental storytelling, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love doing lo-fi gaming, but it makes me... I'm always a bit choked up at the end. <laughs> like, it's like it tops up my heart a bit, right? It's just really nice. Like, just screaming at a joypad is lovely. Don't get me wrong. It, it, I, I, really love, I really love playing horror games. And... Yeah, it's something about lo-fi gaming that just just reminds me that I give a shit, give so much of a shit about games, and they have such a good story to tell that I'm just I'm I'm so grateful that I get to experience that with everyone here. It's really really grateful. Oh, all right. Um, okay. <clears throat> well, everyone, we've come to the end of unpacking. And this has been Lo-Fi Gaming. And what an emotional journey that was. That was quite wonderful. I miss this game more than I remember when I'm not playing it. I've played this now three times to completion. And it's not a long game. We've played it in about three, three and a half hours. And it's genuinely a beautiful story told through the environment. It's never physically said. And nothing is ever physically said to you apart from the end song. And it's just a beautiful story of someone's personal journey and you're along for the ride as well and you're invested in it or at least i was and the people here in chat were as well so i hope you get a chance to play it if you get a chance to play it then i genuinely really think that you should i think it's a beautiful game beautiful storytelling and i just think which beam have really really hit the nail on the head with this so as for me if you like the video, please consider liking it. If you dislike it, there is a dislike button. And if you want to help out the channel for free, you can subscribe to the Lo-Fi Gaming YouTube channel. But as for me, I'm going to head on out of here. So for now, stay safe, stay wonderful, and I'll see you next time. Alright. That's good stuff. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so... What we're playing on Monday. I'm actually streaming tomorrow as well. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to stream. And I'm going to stream from uh, 9 till 10 in the morning. So 9 a.m. BST till 10 p.m. BST. At uh, 10 p.m. 10 a.m. BST. I'm just going to do a quick uh, video edit, basically. What we're working on tomorrow. Let's have a quick look. Um, da, 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 da. I think we're almost up to date with our video edits. Uh, I've got oh no that's true I'm working on a new video and I don't really know whether I want to share it yet or not but I think I might I'm working on a phasmophobia video where I give tips on the different ghosts and I think I think it's going to be a decent video um, and it's just basically bits and pieces I've noticed from phasmophobia which I've been playing a lot off stream I'll be honest with you but I haven't played it a lot on stream in a while but it's one of those games that I, I will dip into every now and then. I'll just I'll, I'll learn a new thing, so I'll note it down. And I'll, I'll realize that actually all of this stuff could probably be quite useful for other people. Um, first and foremost, there's the two two orders of business before I go. Um, firstly, let's have a quick look at Echo's photo on Discord. If you're not a member of the Discord, please consider joining. Um, you can find it if you're on Twitch using the exclamation mark Discord command. Oh, Echo, that's a that's a decent space, friend. That is that a good selection. Oh, I have that um, uh, PlayStation Lite. Is yours made of wood at the bottom? I can't quite see. Um, but yeah, the uh, the PlayStation Lite looks really nice. That that one where they're stacked on top of each other looks really good too. So let's see what we've got. Let's judge your uh, TV series. Jag, never watched, never really watched Jag. NCIS is a solid choice. Mash is a classic. Never watched Blue Bloods either. Miami Vice. I've heard really good things about Miami Vice. Like the new Miami Vice. Um, gosh, you've got a good... Wow, you've got drawers full of them as well. <gasps> what games have you got? <laughs> I'm such a nerd. <laughs> uh, Watch Dogs 2. I've still not played... No, is it Watch Dogs 2? No, Watch Dogs Legion. I got Watch Dogs Legion for cheap from a second-hand store um, on PS5, and I've still not played it yet. Wow, that's a solid collection. Wow, that's a solid collection of Assassin's Creed. Oh boy, 
That's a good Assassin's Creed collection, friend. Yeah, you have a good that is a good that's a good selection of games. Yeah, nice. Ah, that's very, very cool. Oh, I like all your collectibles. They look very, very nice. Let's see if we can get a better picture. There we go. I reloaded it now. Oh, your little figures look awesome. They look very clean as well. I love the Cacodemon one on the bottom left. That's so cool. <laughs> very nice. I like it. You're a fanatic for Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> I will I will need to take some pictures of this this uh, collection. Oh my mi my mirror. So, um, Silent Hill Two, the the secret dog ending. They did a plushie for the secret dog, and this is it. Didn't get it without falling over or ripping my earphone out. So this is the mirror, Silent Hill ending. And for those of the for anyone who doesn't know, um, let's just open a quick chrome tab and let's just go uh, silent hill to dog ending this bit will never make the youtube cut <laughs> silent hill to dog ending want an upgrade that doesn't cost the earth oh music magpie get in the ocean I swear god why is it also not actually full screen when it says full screen? It's there we go. hundreds of pounds cheaper, or save on new and refurbished oh devices if you rent instead. Music oh, magazine. Shut up. <laughs> I'm hoping this is not. Got to come It was all your work. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Such a classic ending. It was so dumb as well when it was first found. <laughs> and then you get a, like a blooper reel as well on Silent Hill 2. this was a real thing but and every silent hill game i'm pretty sure every silent hill game has a um a, a joke ending and this was a joke ending for silent hill 2 <laughs> that's enough of that oh that's an excellent picture of james that's a fantastic picture of mr sunderland there uh right cool <laughs> so yeah they did a limited at konami's um uh merch store did a limited run of these uh so yeah that's pretty much it that's me i'm gonna head on out of here i'm gonna get some food i'm gonna rest um i'm gonna maybe watch some tv and then i will be back here at probably nine o'clock in the morning it can't be much later than that because i've got to take the cat to the vet at 11 so yeah nine o'clock in the morning to do a little bit of video editing uh, working on a phasmophobia video so i hope you can join me then um if not that's absolutely fine there's no pressure it's a zero pressure environment um but otherwise I hope you all have a fantastic evening, stay safe, stay wonderful, and I'll see you later. Take it easy, everyone. In my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place.